My boy Jason, what it do, brother? You know what I gotta do. This is on me for not doing this. I went earlier, I went on live earlier, and I had did some of these games, but I didn't save anything. So I got auto save. I just turned on auto save on from now on so that so that anything is missed. But this is what we're going to do because I might be having somebody, I might be having some friends come over tonight. So I'm not going to be doing this all, all for the whole time. But I'm going to just do, because usually I do the third and fourth quarter. I'm going to just go to the fourth quarter and we'll just do it like that um, versus doing the third and fourth quarter because if it was, a, if I was, did it all day, then I could have, but so much stuff was going on today, man, that I, 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 I been so off track, I guess you could say, because I am, this is what my, my fourth day, third day straight of streaming, my girl Kaylee, how you doing? Welcome to the live, y'all. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to week six of Gridiron Legends League. This is a custom Road to Glory series that I have with my friends at NCAA Football 14. That is the game. It is Dub, who's on Texas A&M, taking on Mississippi State. That's Dub right there. He is on Texas A&M. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mm -mm -mm. My boy Manny. Hey man, so look man, we replaying some games because I didn't have autosave on, so all the games did not save. So we're redoing it right now. But every game that I'm showing is going to be um, fourth quarter only um, because of how late it is and I might be having some company over. Hey, we improved to three and one. Hopefully my boy Anthony Richardson is okay. I am a... No, not three and one, but uh, two, two, two and two. I am a Colts fan, and Anthony Richardson got hurt. The Bengals survive against the Carolina Panthers. I, I'm like also like having my TV played NFL right here. All right, so we're gonna send him all the way to the fourth quarter, and we will commence it from there. Let's see what happens right here. Texas A&M won earlier, but we shall see how this turns out. Seven to ten. Seventeen to seven. Seventeen to fourteen. Y'all okay? We look like we got a game right here. My boy Tank, I see you. Uh oh. Tied up game. Miss oh, Mississippi State takes the lead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the fourth quarter. Texas A&M is down 31 to 24 right now. We'll see how this plays out. <laughs> Who y'all got? Who do y'all got? Let me. I want to see it. I want to see it. All right. QB looks, finds his man, catches it, and goes out of bounds. The 39 yard line. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Another drop back pass. 
for oh get swatted down at the last second mm. right at the last second swats it down there we go all right they, pun they punted it's caught and the guy gets brought down immediately one second y'all Man, it's wild considering that Texas A&M, when I did it earlier, dominated. But now, does a little case as he throws a heater and gets stopped short. Second and one. Let me move this up here. I move this up here. See, I can actually see everything. Drive that pass. It gets swatted down. This is a well prepared defense. They know where to be and they know what their opponent likes to do. They play tight coverage as well. The guy right there in the middle, number 10, that is Dub, everybody. That's my boy Dub. Pitches off. Laterals back. It gets the first down. First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. All right, hands it off and gets dropped down. Second eight. Everybody who's joining, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for looking. It's taking you sure to take the chance to check out my channel as the QB gets brought down. Third and six. Drop back pass. Finds his man and gets dropped short. Oh, they give him the first down. They call it a first down. I thought he was short, ladies and gentlemen. But guess I was wrong. Here we go. Hands uh fakes play acts pass and throws it down. Very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow he's able to throw the ball away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Mississippi State is up by a touchdown. Tackle at about the 49. Looking is a pass play. Throws a heater, finds his man through coverage. That'll push him over the hundred yard mark in receiving. Even when he oh, he's cooking today. Whoever that is, they said got over a hundred yards receiving. Make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Breaks off dub and then gets brought down. Just drop down. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Well, a familiar situation for the offense is they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. Lexi, thank you for liking the live. Thank you so much. Oh, they letting the play clock go down all the way. Two, one, third and five. He had him wide open. That's a that's a lapse of the mind, honestly. Had that man wide open for an easy first down and overthrows him. Now. Now they have ball now. And he got it. Here's an update from the studio and restate. 
the Horned Frogs were ranked 19th. Another W might have them moving up the charts with a bullet. And for Oklahoma, they've lost two in a row. Eesh. And for Gonzalez, he had a touchdown reception in this game. PCU gets the W, 28-21. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Less than three minutes in the game. Hey, thank you for the follow! Wow! Appreciate it! Yo, yo! Let's it go! Oh, he finds his man! Ooh. Ooh. What it do, MTG, my boy Rex? What it do, Tipsy Boy? Everybody, welcome to the live. Welcome to the street. Oh, he breaks a tackle, gets the first down. Uh, we are. I'm redoing all of the games because my my I didn't have all to save on, so I got to redo them all. I apologize. Oh, intercepted! Intercepted! It gets brought down. Damn. That might be game. That might just be game. Damn. Notre Dame is late on, but I but while I'm not gonna be doing the third and fourth quarter no more. I'm just doing the four quarters from now on. Um, I'm doing the fourth quarters. So you're expected to see the whole game. I'm sorry, Rex. We only doing four quarters for now on, cause of how long this really takes. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. And plus, picks up a yard on the play. From here on, I'm just doing the I'm just doing the fourth quarter. I'm not doing second half some more because it just takes too long. And plus, it's so late on late on in the day. I'm just doing four quarters. First down and more. And I think that's game, y'all. Damn. Damn. I think that's game, man. This is this is wild. Considered that when I when I came on earlier and did this, Texas A&M dominated. Nah, man. It's just so late. It's just so late in the day, but also they just take so long, just take so long at the time of the day, and with how my what how stuff is, I just don't have the time to necessarily do crazy long streams. Like how last, like especially last night, man. Like, bro, I'm still <laughs> not even last night, but like I, I say Friday as well. Yeah, it's like if it's like two hours. Cool, right? But if it's pushing like going to that three, four hour mark, then yeah, I, I, I like to try to keep my stuff within two hours mark. So that's all. Right now, uh, who about to win? It's Mississippi State right now. Because look at that score, man. I don't think there's nothing that can happen in the time frame. He's into the open field. That's the exclamation mark. You know that saying because the game, because I didn't have auto save on, so none of these games saved. None of these games saved. That's the reason why I'm doing all these, redoing all these games. None of these games saved, sadly. Third first. Walker's performance today. Right now, Kirk, the nation is watching, and uh, they're pretty impressed with what they saw. Yeah, absolutely. Damn. I think a lot of people are going to see. My boy, Dub, Texan AM, More importantly, I think his team is going to build their offense around him and his attributes of what he brings to this offense. Uh, let me check some. Let's see how Dub did on the defensive side. Because the crazy thing about it was earlier, Dub had over 13 tackles. Now it's three. Now it's three. Yeah, I'm in the way right now. This is Dub. Hold on. I'll move myself so y'all can see his face. Uh, one second. 
That's Dub. Dub had three tackles, three solo tackles versus like earlier. Like I said four, thirteen. That's why. That's why from now on, Drax isn't in this. Drax isn't in the season. Drax, Jason, Autos, they they aren't in till next season. Um, because we're we're already midway through the season for one. Um. And I can't properly create them if I wanted to right now. Um, so I'm waiting till next season also because I want to see if I can get more people involved and get like a 16 team, like two 16 team conference or something of that nature. I'll figure it out. Most definitely, if you can, please let please try. Please, most definitely try. As okay, I think I think the, it was auto saving. Now I do like baby four games when we get to the playoffs. That'd be different because it's the playoffs, so it got to be more special. Um, like I might do like you know f first round because the 18 tournament. So I might do like say I'll figure it out I, when I when I when I get there. All right, my boy Florida is in the chat. Funny enough, your photo Florida team be facing soon. But all right, it's my boy. D. Ernest of Texas taking on my boy Jeremiah, wide receiver at UCLA. Everybody who's joining, welcome to Grid Iron Legends League. This is week six. This is a custom Road to Glory series that I have going on with my friends in NCAA 14. If you wish to join, is for. Huh? Are, are you asking what UCLA stands for? It stands for the University of California in Los Angeles. UCLA. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oh, my boy Gandalf is here. What to do, Gandalf? Signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. Bring together a few W's. That's exactly what happened. Who y'all got? Y'all got D. Ernest? Y'all got my boy D. Norton in uh, Texas, or do you got my boy Jeremiah over there? There he is. Jeremiah is on as right there, number 81. That's Jeremiah. That's my boy Jeremiah, number 81. That's the wide receiver he is. He played host of both a men's and a women's World Cup final. But today, it's the host for college football. All right. Texas Strife first blood, followed by UCLA. And we go on to the second quarter, side 17 all. I mean, 7 all, not 17 all. My boy Gandalf, how you doing, brother? All right, Texas take the lead. De okay. You say I got to do something. They out here getting molly whopped on. All right, twenty-one to fourteen. Ah, you uh, Texas gets striped short. Twenty-eight to fourteen. 
35-14. Damn. This game look cooked, y'all. This game looks cooked right now. I'm a I'm a like I said, I'm gonna let the fourth quarter play out, but this game looks cooked, man. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing today, though? How's everybody doing? Everybody been having a beautiful, blessed weekend and a beautiful, blessed Sunday. Have you been watching some football today? Have you been watching NFL games? Damn! Fourth and three. Okay. Okay. That was, that was a good. That was a good stop. That was a good stance by UCLA. I am ready for Raw had. tomorrow. Last man standing match. You got a last man standing match going on for a, a dub show. Fires out to his receiver. And gets the first down. KJ, you're more than welcome to be in this. I can get you in for next season. Uh, right now, we are in the middle of the season. So, right now, if you can't just have college player, you know, start mid-season like that. <laughs> this is NCAA 14. This is NCAA 14, Gandalf. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. <laughs> MTG was is out here trying to pull people. Hey, I, I appreciate MTG. Uh, Gandalf, I'll explain what this is. This is a custom Road to Glory series that I'm doing in NCAA 14 as he takes off and slides down. Second to seven. Second to second. Um, but yes, this is a custom Road to Glory series that I. Oh, oh, okay. Big meaty men slapping meat match. <laughs> But this is a custom Road to Glory series that I've uh, started in NCAA 14 featuring myself as well as um, other people involved. And that's the thing. you get. I can't choose for you. Um, what I do is I have a system set up. And I would, what I'll do is send you um, what you can select. And that's how you create your player. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Oh, KJ, you finna be in Ohio? What part? Damn! UCLA, I don't know why would they try that run on fourth and one like that. Like, that's... Trying to do that shit didn't work out at all. My Excuse my French. But yeah, y'all are more than welcome. If you want a character, you're more than welcome to. What you have to do, though, is like I said, I'll... Yo, oh, oh, oh. What Ohio? What in Ohio, I should say? That's the main question. Also, it depends on what position you pick. Because if you want to be a QB and be at Ohio State, that's not happening. My boy is already over there. I got a I got a homie. He's QB over there, so I don't I don't want to have it to where you know it's the um because he's he's everybody here's a freshman, so you come in you'll be a freshman, and that would not probably be best if you're a freshman behind a sophomore. It'd be different to say he was a senior and you're a freshman, then you could you know be right under there or redshirted. What's up, Rex? Third and seven right now. This game is in the bag for uh, Texas right now, man. Yeah, they 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 let them play clock run down. This GG's, bro. There's this be a linebacker. Okay, yeah, you can be a linebacker uh, if you want to be. Do, okay, so question: Do you want to be at Ohio State? You said Ohio, or do you want to be Ohio University, Miami University? You got to be more specific. You know, you got to be Pacific time. You got to be specific with it. Buckeyes, okay. 
Any chance for Austin, Texas? Yeah, that's everybody who's a uh, tipsy boat. So peep this, right? Uh, the game didn't save because I didn't have auto save on. And I forgot to save everything. No, no, no. He'll, he got to create, create his character. Then he picks what teams he want to be on. Um, but Austin, Texas. Are you talking like Texas A&M? One second, y'all. Are, are you are you are you mean Texas A and M? Yeah, uh, you can be over there with Dub. Uh, Dub is on Texas A and M. Um, he's down there. Or if you want to be in Texas, down in uh, down in you know Big Texas with my boy D Ernest. Series by this defense forcing them to go three and out. In this game, because there's no way, man. It's 35 20. It's 35 21. The offense really struck. The Longhorns know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, yeah, because Tipsy Bolt is a QB. He don't got nobody else over there. So if you want to be a wide receiver running back, you are more than welcome to. Play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receiver. My character, I'm on Cincinnati. I'm on, I'm on the University of Cincinnati. That's where I'm at. Also, y'all, I might be taking a sl not slight break, but like um, my my dad is on his way because um, I'm not sure if y'all been aware about the hurricane, but the hurricane winds came up all the way up here to Ohio, and we had a real bad rainstorm and it's knocked out people's power, and so my mom and dad has been one of the people was affected, so they're bringing their stuff over here. To uh, put in my fridge as well. My dad might be messing with my light. So, um, depending on what happens, I might uh, let y'all congregate. And uh, you want to commit to Cincinnati? Now, here's the thing about it. I am middle linebacker over there. I'm because the thing about it is you can have. You can play two positions. You can play offense and defense. I am a running back slash middle linebacker. So if you want to be a linebacker, you can be uh you have to be either right or left outside linebacker. Jordan Love threw for damn near 400 yards. That's wild. All right, so we did we did these right here. See, that's my team. I I, I use I'm a I usually play that game on YouTube and like stream it to Twitch and all that. So that's why I haven't played it yet. But I'll continue on with Florida has Jaguar Jones and Tyler Jackson at QB. I'm the running back on Cincinnati. So if you're committed to me, you're not going to be running back. But all those positionals, wide receiver, safety, cornerback, you can be. I forgot to check other people's stats. That's all right. I ain't gonna. Hey, I don't care what. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. This music right here still is a fire, no matter what. Uh. Mm mm. Mm. Mm mm. But what's up, Rex? I will get to that later on. You should have said that earlier because I did not do any edits. So that would have to be after this today.
But also everybody, like I said, y'all don't have to necessarily be on what teams are taking. If you want to be on Alabama, you can. You want to be on Georgia, you can. You want to be on God dang it, uh, 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 Syracuse, you can. Are you on later on? Like, no, no, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going in the stream. What I'm going to be doing? Oh, if you're talking about the Cincinnati game, I'll be live streaming that later on. I'll do that later on. That's why I wanted to get this done with uh, uh, TikTok first, so I can be able to save it and then go on later on and do my portion and play my part, my game or whatever. I will be on YouTube. Oh, before next game, you said 290. So we doing 290. Alabama is open. Alabama is open. That's my boy Scotty T, the QB right there, number 16. We're 30 miles southwest of New York City in New Brunswick for this exciting matchup between these two. Teams. I'll show y'all who uh who Jaguar Jones and all that when they get on the field. Um. Well, you said 290, so we're going with 290. Hey, you got time. It's only week six, brother. It's only week six. You have plenty of time to figure out who you want to be on. Oh, boy. All right. Florida scores first blood. The Rutgers come back and scores in the first quarter 7-7. You said 290 earlier than 280. It, it's a, not even that much of a difference. <laughs> ah, all right, y'all. So you know what? Considering that my 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 dad needs my help right now, he's he's bringing some of the stuff. Um, I'm gonna be allowing the game to play off. Yes, the same. It's the same as it does on you, TikTok, you, YouTube, Twitch, all that. It's the same right there, at top YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and TikTok. Dorian V ninety six. Um, but I'm gonna let this. If you think this really matters when it comes to game, it really doesn't, Rex. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, my guy. He's being at 290. Because whatever way. By how he looks. Maybe. But. If you're if you're expecting. like Whatever his weight is. By the end of the season. he's he By the end of the season. He's probably going to be 260. We're going to leave him at that. Because he's six fucking nine. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But I'm going to let this play out because I got to go help my dad. So y'all can congregate with yourself. And I will be back. Uh, like, I'm not going to end the live stream. I just got to go help my dad. So hold on. away here on second down. And they make the stop at the 32. That's a DD one on the play. That makes it third and three. He's on the run. Tackle at the 34. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Harris is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. 
In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Florida is up a score. Got an opening. Tackle made at the 49. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49. Good outside run there. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. Like 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming. Three, nine, nine, green, there you go. Here's a counter, losing yards. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 44. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He scrambles. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Weber on the give, and down he goes. Right around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up dirty two. Short. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Florida is going to take their first time out of the half. Jackson is waiting for the snap. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. The Gators right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack. And in my opinion, They've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on. What they've done so far hasn't worked. From the 38-yard line, second down. Florida is up by a touchdown. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 20. Decides to slide. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. And he's taken down around the 10-yard line. 
It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Florida is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. A quick update now. Here's Reed. The Wildcats take the field today as the number 21 team in the country. And for Northwestern, they hope to continue their winning ways. The Wildcats are on top, 28-21. Ten-point game here, Reese, 17-7. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Gators with a ten-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29. Florida is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. And he shoved out of bounds around the 29-yard line. No game. That brings up second and nine. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Go, go. Now he's scrambling, and he's level at the 24. Call it a loss of five yards. Third down. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. Mike 12. Mike 12. And that one's incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Harris is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to midfield. He showed a good burst there. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. You can't block me. You can't block me. My 22 is coming. 22 is coming. My head. Great heart. Takes it right. He can't get back to the line. From their own 48-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Jones gets eight yards on the play. 
That'll bring up third and four. down around the 41 yard line fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit the kick is up no good he pushed it to the right here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis the Horned Frog took the field ranked 19th in the land a lot of heat on them to hold that spot in the top 20. And for TCU, just playing a little pitch and catch, and it results in a touchdown. TCU has the edge, 28-21. All right, Reese, back to our game. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Almost intercepted there. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Nice run up the middle. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. throw to the tight end. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Fourth down. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Great job by the punter of getting the ball inside the 20 and turning over field position for his defense. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Jones picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the seven. Takes it right side for a good game. That'll bring up third and two. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Go up there, check the outside there. Two down, two down. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. from their own 15-yard line. First down. Throws it. Leaps. Picked off. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. That's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. That turnover could help them out. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Get up, get up. Got the corner. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. corner runs outside for a nice game nice run there by the tailback and it's good for the first good play here getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense from the 29 yard line first down gets to about the 27 yard line Game of two yards. that makes it second and eight Go 
Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Call it a loss of three yards as well. That brings up third and 12. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Pass to the end zone. He caught it. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Horned Frogs were ranked 19th. Another W might have them moving up the charts with a bullet. And for Oklahoma, they've dropped two straight. And for Gonzalez, he hauled in more than 100 yards worth of passes. The Horned Frogs walk out with a seven-point win. Meanwhile, let's take a look at what's happening in the top 25. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Northwestern, they've increased their lead. The Wildcats lead it by two touchdowns at the start of the fourth quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. Henry has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Rodgers fields it at the one. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The Gators fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. This is a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponents to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle right around the 30. Green brings him down at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Florida holds a field goal lead. He's to the 40. And the 40 line. A great game. <sighs> it looks like it'll be hey, everybody. 17 14, Gator. Hey, everybody. Still. Sorry that took longer. I gotta make a, another quick run real fast. But this game is almost over. So, I'm gonna finish this game off. I'm gonna be right here for the commentary. Let this game finish off. And then I'm gonna go over to uh, the game of the week and let that play out as I go do this quick run and errand real fast. Um. Yeah, what happened is after my dad brought in the food, one of my bulbs in my car was out. Um, my tail light, one of my my driver's side tail light was out. I had the bulb, my dad put it in here real fast. As Tyler Jackson gets the first down, um, you know what? I'll be I'll be I'll be kind, cause cause I know freaking Rex, you you want to see Notre Dame so bad. I saw I played the Notre Dame game, man. Hey man, look, 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 look. Hey, I understand. I understand, KJ. Look, these games right here. I that's that the re, I I like your enthusiasm. I love your energy because it makes you want to be in it so fast. So it just just like ah, oh, you gotta just bite your nails. Like oh, only if I was there. And this makes for drama. This makes for stories. Uh, I go by I go by, by I go by each week. I go by each week because of how long these take. These take so long. Um I have considered by doing at least a game a day. Like say, you know, the Def Jam Fight Club and then having the NCAA stuff going on. But I have it all on one going on in one day because it's yeah, I know. I got I got this message in my phone right now. Um, Florida is up by three. 
You know what? Do y'all want me to do y'all want me to do these on Tuesdays as well? A Jaguar brace the tackle. Like I wouldn't be able to do every single game, but I'll probably do a couple games like on Tuesday and Thursday. If y'all really would like that. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Terrific top 25. Now I will say once once 2K starts, we will have to do it like say, you know, Monday, Def Jam. The Wildcats lead it. Tuesday NCAA. Now, we'll probably do some games, but not all the games. Um, Wednesday, Def Jam again. The two, Thursday will be 2K. And then Friday, Def Jam. And then Saturday, we could do some of these games. And probably do more, more, uh... You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could more weeks. Way. Um, go ahead, Rex. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Yeah. Jack would stay at Notre Dame. It would not be it would not be logical for for him to uh, go. But the thing is about this is that uh, because so many people are coming in, that if we're just going to be staying, if that's the thing, we already have sixteen teams in this one conference. If other people are going to other teams, then I gotta what I have to read pretty much redo is recreate everybody. And put y'all on the right teams to put y'all on the same conference. Then, then that's that I will say that's if we start getting a lot more people on the different squads. I, like for example, um, like what I would do is, yeah, like when I mean more people, I'm talking like, you know, those who are like out on Alabama and Georgia. You know, people be like on Alabama, Georgia, um, those two teams. Because then I would have to figure out how to incorporate those to the playoffs. Um, I'll figure out something like that. But that's why I hope I can get like 60 teams, like two 16 team brackets. Um, what's up, MTG? So it's second down and about two yards to go. As, by explaining, you need this. Well, I'm not saying I don't need you to explain. By explaining, I mean, twisting to you, what do you mean by me explaining more by what I'm trying to do with this? Um, like, do you mean, like, what's my overall goal when it comes to this? And they get nice yardage on that run. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. If you can consistently Cuz I can I'll tell you right now of what what is was my goal or why I did this. From the 44 yard line. It's first down. Okay. Let me do this then. Let me turn off the gameplay. All right. So, turn off the gameplay so I can give a proper breakdown of what Gridiron Legends League is. What is Gridiron Legends League? Grid Gridiron Legends League is a inter. Hold, hold on. What? If if. Brother, this is all recorded, so I can just clip this. <laughs> I can save this as he gets stopped short. Yeah, all this is clipped. Like I re that's that's why I be tell I tr I explained to Dub how he can 
record, you know, save the lives and upload them. But he was trying to say that, you know, well, it will get copyright showing the interests. Cut the interest out then. Like, if need be, all he has to do is this. Get him cap cut. Get him cap cut. Download cap cut to his PC. Secondly, save all the lives. Save all the lives. Even if they're like top down. Even if the long way like this. You know, we got to watch the portrait mode. Then just cut out the entrances. That's what I did for like if you go watch my Def Jam Fight Club. What I just did, all I did was just, you know, crop it out to uh, just the fights and select the areas. That's what I did for that. That's all he has to do. And that's why I'm doing this so it can, you know, be on YouTube and bring in more people that way. Um, my boy Farmer, what it do to everybody. If you don't know what Gridiron Legends League is, Grid. Gridiron Legend League is a custom Road to Glory slash Dynasty. It's all wrapped in one um, series that I have done where I have put not only myself, but my homies like Rex, Tipsy Boat, that's out of bounds. And we are I put us all into NCAA 14, and we're going to be doing this doing like all four seasons of college. And then once we're done with college, we're going to continue this on to Madden. 14 things of that nature the reason why I got inspiration for this is because I used to do a series like this in uh, NBA 2k which is why I released to the NBA 2k this all weaves together I did one way back at Scotty T touch the D intercepted that's game that's game um I used to do this in 2K where I had my friends send me their 2K builds, their 2K My Player builds, and I put us all in a association to see who would who would become the greatest of all time. So that's basically what the series is to see who would be, you know, who can become a gridiron legend. Um, shout out to that was a glitch. <laughs> shout out to my boy Brian. AKA B Jizzle 904, same on here as on YouTube. He's a big inspiration for this as well because he did something like this in his NCAA football series, which gave me the inspiration to do this this way. Because he has a character who's in this who plays on Oregon named Mouse Graham, um, which was a wide receiver, cornerback, hybrid player. And he has characters in there. Like Tyler Jackson, he's the QB who played at Florida in this series, so I brought him over here. Steve Merka, he's a character, and NCAA young boy, the most dangerous individual in all the NCAA. They're all in this series. So my main goal with this, Jaguar Jones cooked. Um, my goal with this is to. Make this a series that I can continue on for years to come that all my friends, followers, we can come back to and just, you know, watch the upbringings of this. Because I really do enjoy, I really love, dang, one-handed catch. Oh, I missed that. Hey, bro, this game look like it really cooked. But my main goal without this is to bring engagement to all followers around as well as Something that we all can enjoy. Something that all of us can enjoy from different walks of life. You know. Like like for him. Like you would Rex. You know with you Rex. Um, and basketball and everything. You know you enjoy playing basketball. So with the 2K series. You might not be very knowledgeable of these players. But hey. Doing this league can help you as a way to gain knowledge. To become a and more invested to the sports leagues. Um, so my main goal is really just that. Just have fun with this. Engage with everybody, the followers. And just make this something that we all can come back forward to and look forward to. And give us some sort of football when we don't have NCAA football or NFL football going on during the time being. Because this, this, is not, this series is not stopping. Like, what I'll probably do is... I'll have the series go on for, the, for like, you know, the season one. Probably take probably maybe a couple weeks off, you know, because it's a lot that we're doing with this. It's a lot. 
So maybe take like, you know, a week off and then come back to it. Because 2K is kind of different. With 2K, you can sim the seasons. But I'm not going to sim. I'm not going to. What I'll do is I'll look at certain games that were going and I will sim to those. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be simming every single game. Uh, well. Keyword, not simming every single game. I should matter of fact say that I'm going to be key, I'm going to be simming to key games, if that makes sense. Like I'll do I'll do the debuts of all the players, you know. I'll do the debut games of all the players, you know. Um like open and tip off, and then I'll like sim through the game, and if it get close in the fourth quarter, do it that way. You get what I mean? Ah, yeah. See, um, I'm gonna have to change that when it comes to about legends, um, because of the fact of the matter that the older 2K games are kind of limited with the legends, if that makes sense, like. While the newer 2Ks has damn near every everybody from legendary teams, these games only prioritize over certain teams. For example, 2K14, there's no old one Lakers. They have the old one. They have the 2000 2001 Sixers, but not the old one Lakers. But they have the 98 Lakers though. So. Here's what, is, well, here's what I decide I'm going to do. I'm going to take all the legends. I'm going to take, take two legends from each dynamic duo. Because, like, even 2K12, they only have 15 total legends. And four of them are Laker legends. So, yeah. Like they got Kareem, Magic. They had Wilt Chamberlain in the Lakers jersey at that, and Jerry West, the logo. So here's what I'm going to do about this situation. As this this is finished up, this is for the 2K series. I'm gonna pick every legend that's in the game. That that not every legend, but at least two of the legends. Two of the legends. I'm going to put them on teams. You know, everybody's going to have a legend somehow, some way. Run a season with them. And then have all of us in the draft. And let us get drafted to whatever team they so desire to put us on. So, you're not going to know what legend you were actually are paired up with. I'm talking about the 2K series. Because KJ was talking about then on NBA, I'm going to go into... Going to the Lakers and Shaq. That's why I said you, I'm not going. That's not going to happen. We're not going to be picking teams. We're going to get drafted, but there will be a legend on each of those teams. So that's finished up. But I will get to that more, more when the NBA stuff, NBA season start. Because right now we're still in September. NBA talks will not begin really into. October, because that's when I'm. That's when a the NBA season starts, and that's when I'm gonna be beginning doing trying to get everybody integrated. So I'm gonna go for this one right here, though. Yes, you won't know what legend you get, but you get in legend indeed. So you better be hopeful. So. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and for you, Rex, there's no Toronto legend. So don't even ask. Kawhi Leonard is still on San Antonio. Vince Carter, he's not. He's he doesn't have a legend player. I think they're all still playing. People would say like, I want Kobe. He's not a legend in the game. Like I'm talking like what what players they have in there considered legends will be there. Yeah. 
as as far as the legends go, Jordan and Scottie Pippen, they are legends. They've been retired, so they will be put on teams. But you, I'm not sure what teams they're going to be on. You know, what I'm going to legitimately do is take take the. Uh, I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have two wheels going right. I'm gonna have the wheel of all the 32 teams, and then whatever legends they land on, that's what happened. They are inviting me to battle. I can't do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn off invites for this live. Um, no, you cannot pick whatever teams you want. You're, you're still not. You cannot pick whatever team you want. You're gonna get drafted to a team. You're gonna get drafted. They invited me to join the live. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to have to go on my other TikTok um, account and tell them like, hey, I can't join the live right now because I'm actually live for my college football series. Um, but I got to make this quick run, y'all. So what I'm going to do while, while that happens is allow this to play Notre Dame. And Northern Illinois is going out. And my boy Brian Lewis taking on the Fallen Brothers, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this while I go make this quick run. I will be back. This is going. This is one of my most dysfunctional lives of all time. I'll say that. This is one of my most dysfunctional lives of all time.
All right, you guys, we need two roses. Oh my god, I'm really falling asleep now. We got chili. Northern Illinois has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Newport fields at the goal line. And he just got stood up right there. Notre Dame's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Nice run, and he's brought down. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And that'll be three and out. Sanders is back awaiting the punt. Tackle made at the 35. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's into the open field, heading for the corner. And down he goes around the 45 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Second down, less than a yard. Ball on their own 45. Here we go. Drop down. Right around the 48 yard line. Terrell picks up about three with that catch. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Excellent open field tackle. That's a deep ten. That'll make it second and inches. Second down and a couple of feet. Ball on the 27. Fires that quickly incomplete. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. to scramble, but he's sacked. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Northern Illinois could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. 
Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Bulldogs entered the game ranked sixth in the country, but feeling the heat to hold their lofty spot. And for Georgia, they remain red hot. Georgia captures the four-point win. All right, thanks, Reese. Cameron has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Northern Illinois has really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled at the 40. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Got an opening. They'll bring him down at about the 45. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. Second and ten. From the 45 yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop at the 31. Well, that's a big time play there. And as a quarterback, you're willing to take certain chances with certain wide receivers. It's, you're not going to put the ball into coverage like that very often. But if you have confidence and trust, and you've worked out a lot with that wide receiver, you know what his abilities are, and you know that you have confidence that he's going to be able to come down, regardless of putting it up in traffic, you're willing to take that chance. And that time, it's exactly what we saw. From the 31-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. to pick up the first down. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Notre Dame can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. And this one's not enough at three. Wallace has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's gobbled up in the backfield. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Second and 13. Ball on their own 22. Catches it, and that's all. About five yards that time on the throw. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it and keep moving the defense back. Set 
setting up blockers. The running backs got it on the screen. Tackle made right around the 34. A seven-yard pickup on the screenplay. We played one, three, three time. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Fuqua, the return man. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for the That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Made the catch, but he's knocked out before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Caught and he's hit immediately. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. From their own 31-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 48. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Taken down at the 39. That's a deep man in the ball. First down. Right, 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 right. Two down, two down. Get back, get down, get back. Run it. And now he's got room to run. Gets out to around the 28. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. This one away. From the 15 yard line, it's second down. Moore only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. 
We're at play number nine of this current drive. Dumps it complete over the middle. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Northern Illinois is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's good. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Beavers entered today's game ranked number 14 and hoping to prove they are worthy of being ranked much higher. And for Oregon State, they're shooting for their fifth straight win. And for Henry, he's caught one for a touchdown. The Beavers lead 7-3, middle of the second quarter. Thanks, Reese. 6-3 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Notre Dame's going to take their first time out of the half. About two minutes before halftime. goes right around the 22 yard line maybe a yard on that draw play the Huskies will use their first time out of the half got it completely he's out of bounds From their own 40-yard line. First down. Right down. Right around the 44-yard line. Four yards gain. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. their own 44 yard line it's second down stays in bounds and made a nice catch Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And they pick up two yards. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's immediately tackled. Catch and gets out of bounds. Good job by the offensive line. 
to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 14. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. It's the 11th play of the drive. Green here, the halfback's got it. He's tackled at the 14-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Little handoff. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's good for being three yards. Third down. We played a half. This one's all even at six. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some hash turf over there? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on the bread and turf. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. Second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice run up 
the middle. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 42. They'll bring him down to the 41 yard line. any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Cameron is waiting for the snap. They get this one off and it's a beauty. Tries to get around the corner. He's out to the 30. Brought down by the kicker. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. And they'll get him in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 32. And they push him out around the 37-yard line. Allen comes away with around five yards on that option keeper. Harry is the putter. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Right around the 38 yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 38. He scrambled. He gets sacked on the play. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. Mm. You gotta take more pride and take play right there. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. Ladies and gentlemen, what it do? What it do, y'all? I am back. I am back. I'm back, y'all. Uh, I was I was gone for a second, but I am back, live in the flesh. We're gonna let this game play out because nearly done. A minute thirty nine. This game has just been also 
MTG Rex, I don't know what's been going on. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice. And he is a freshman, so they give him they give him the bid for the doubt. And taken down immediately. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets brought down, 33. Drop back pass. Finds his man and gets dropped back. Fourth and one. Sanders awaiting the return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe that's trying to run it so 27 times. Damn, was it KJ? Scrambling. Tackle at the 31. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. So at the end of three, six six ball game. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Oh, Brian Lewis! Danny! One thing I'll say is with running cube, if you got a high speed for some reason, they have you as a scrambler, they always run. That's a... Uh, Game logic. Ten yards to go. Ball on the forty-six yard line. Oh, this your main? Okay. Bet. Oh, dang! Big body Rex comes in and tackles Brian Lewis. up against the five wide set but all right bet I will give you I have to give you a follow then on your new account um, on your MA account bro I want to be <laughs> uh, because we're in the middle of the season man and players just don't jump in in the middle of the season like it's not the NFL where you can just sign players in randomly later on the season. College football, once the season starts, they're pretty much a week. Yee. Yee. Can I get a yee in the comments? They want to end this thing in regulation. Intercepted by the big man. At about the 19 yard line. For somebody to step up and make a play, and boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. First and ten, ball on the 19. Now he tries to buy some time. Football! 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 The T-Rex! The T-Rex! The 
See? Tricks. <laughs> Comes out that yeah, that's that's a live ball. That's a live ball. So I just got the youth J Uso black and gold. What? Hey, bro, you will have to post that or something. How much did that cost? That ain't too much. Rest clean up after his brother. Guess so. Guess so. Wait, what? Huh? Ball on the 23 yard line. Nah, bruh. That ball came out. He was not that. Oh. That leg is down. That leg is down. That leg indeed was down before he let it go. Can't hate on that. That's clear as day. That leg was down. Damn. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes. Right around the 12 yard line. 32 bucks plus tax. So about. So what about 37? That still ain't bad if it's a rare one. Was it like a limited time thing? And he gets wrapped up! Limited edition makes sense. So yeah, you hopped on it. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Hey, if he transferred to Oregon, oh, I'm not sure because he's middle linebacker. Oregon has uh, Let's get the latest now from mouse at wide receiver one. So it wouldn't make sense for Rex to go to Oregon. Cause he wouldn't be starting over uh, Honey Hundo. Honey Hundo's a starting um, linebacker, and um, Mouse is the wide receiver number one. So Rex will become number two if he's all right with being wide receiver number two. He's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Yeah, you can be in the next season, Sally. Oh, he breaks the tackle! To the 50! The 40! The 30! The 20! The 10! Touchdown! Touchdown! Oh my goodness! A kick return touchdown! Oh! Yo! PV? Uh, what, what, do, what do you mean by PV? They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the defenses have certainly been the story in this one. Uh, the defense is playing great. I might recommend dropping down a level or two. Are you talking about like I can change the camera? Is that what you mean? You know this is a real crucial because the sad thing about this I can't change the camera angle like this because I'm not playing it glitches out on kick returns for some reason I've noticed that but do they have the team Perry I don't I don't think I'm not sure I'm unsure honestly team pick Rambling, they do, but they are uh, FBS. No, no, I think they're FCS. Grambling's in the game, but they're FCS, so they wouldn't be in the like 
like what the big schools are. I think they're they kind of looked at like almost D two. Damn, Philadelphia got spanked by the Buccaneers. Third down. Gremlin is in the game though. It is in the game. Three to go in regulation. Brian Lewis gets the first down or more. All right. I don't know why, like, a legitimately a score blur glitches out when it comes to his own kick returns. I would have to look and see. But those are all FCF school. So the thing about those being FCF schools, I'm not sure how would I would get them in to be the FBS team. This, this, All the teams that are all here right now is FBS. I know FCS team plays every so often. Would I be starring QB at Oregon? You can be as a freshman. That's what everybody here says. Uh, I'm looking at the stats. Hold on. My fault, y'all. Okay. Notre Dame is up with that kick return touchdown 13-9 to right now. So, it's getting spicy, ladies and gentlemen. It is getting spicy. So no, so uh, Northern Illinois is down right now. Yeah, you'll be starting wide receiver at Texas if you went to Texas. I would make everybody uh, start on the depth chart. Second and nine. Second and four. I said second and nine. My mind's all tripping. somebody's part and the bad news is there was no defender around if the pass was anywhere near him it could have gone for a big play they're about four yards away here on third down five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun oh he gets the pass it is the first down yes uh, Rex will be the starting wide see this is the thing alright so this is how the wide receiver positions work alright to give you, I wish I wish I could do the depth chart. So with wide receivers, you have wide receiver one, wide receiver two, and wide receiver three. Wide receiver th one is the primary target usually with the wide receivers. That's like their main guy. It's like, for example, Randy Moss. He was wide receiver number one usually on Minnesota. You know. But that doesn't make him the primary target. Number wide receiver number ones means like yes, he's the best wide receiver we have on our team. But that doesn't usually mean he's the target. What happens when it comes to a primary target is whatever the QB wants. Like for example, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow. Jamar Chase is Joe is uh Joe Burrow's number one target. And let me see what what uh. The depth chart looks like on that, so I can give y'all a better understanding. So, even if you wide receiver two or three, you will be starting. But I'm saying if you want to be wide receiver one like you are right now, you're not. that's not happening. Yeah, Jamar Chase is wide receiver number one. Then you have T. Higgins and then Andre. I can't do that. And that's also because of the size of your player. You wanted a 6'9 guy and make him or had him like over 300 pounds. It's going to look weird. I can't change the arm definition on this game. I can't do that. So it might look weird, but that's because of his body size and being 6'9 as well. <laughs> that's that's the reason why it looks weird. So I, I don't I don't know how if you're at you if you're asking me to try to like go in the game and like like arm strength and all I can't do that. I cannot do that. 
Um, this is week six. Cincinnati, we are ass right now. I'm going to tell you right now, KJ, I am carrying our team. Y'all will see. Y'all will see. I'm going to play. I'm going to play. I'm going to do a game. Like, since I'm back and everything, I'm going to do a game so y'all can really witness how buns we are. And it's not because of me. It's because of the goddamn QB. Freaking stupid. If I got to show you what I look like to show you what I want, that's you. You can't do that here, though, Rex. That's that's what I'm telling you. Like if if you're trying to get in depth to make your characters look physically as that, you can't do that. You can't put tattoos. I can't go in here to try to you know like uh arm, like how 2K is. 2K is more in depth than how ESPN is. Like for real, for real. I think that's I think that's where you're you're getting uh, misunderstood by you believing when I when you when I create a player, you think I'm gonna get that in depth. I, I'll show you after the game what exactly I mean, so you can look at like you buy what I mean exactly. So let's continue this on. Drive back pass. Throws it out of bounds. See, like, look at him. Like, it just really... I don't control how the players look. Like... Like, hold on. I'll go to replay real fast so we can we can do a breakdown. Like, all these guys are regular size. But because your dude is so tall and everything, yeah, he gave you, I don't know why that's the case, but as you see, like, it, it all really depends. I don't control how they make the player's arms. Like, for, for my opinion, everybody's arms look skinny in the game. Like, look at him. He's a lineman. You see him, like everybody arms are automatically look skinny. Yours just look way different than everybody because you're freaking six nine, bro. <laughs> That's the main difference. You're freaking six nine, and you got somebody like that who's shorter than you is gonna look regular. Cause he wanted to. He wanted to be he wanted to be his real life height, which is six nine. So I allowed it. Like originally the cap is six five. But because of him being real life six nine, I allowed it. And that's why that's why I try to explain to him that with this and everything, these games, if you're expecting it as in depth how 2K is when it comes to basketball, that's not the case. It's going to look funny because your character is 6'9 in a football world. Which honestly will make you the tallest player. If you get drafted, you will be honestly the tallest player in NFL history. The tallest player in NFL history was a 6'8 wide receiver. You're 6'9, so you're, you're, you are... He wanted to be a wide receiver. The only way you can fix this is by making you shorter, but I can't do that. I'm not going to do that because you selected being 6'9". I'm not about to catch. I'm not, you know how weird that would be in real life? Do 6'9", and like all of a sudden now 6'6"? Six, six? Nah, bro. Like, if you want, you, you, whatever play you, you locked in to be, that's your guy. We're not about to go out here switching and try to make your character be 6'. No, you are locked in. You gotta rock what you got. I'm not doing no take your backsies. I'm not doing that. I I I I try to I tried to before. Um like reason with you, Rex, but you push forth with wanting to be six nine. So I allowed it. But I'm not changing the back. There's no way to do that. You already have a you already have strength already up. You already got like a 90 strength. 
So you are already strong. It's because of how tall you are that is going to look weird. <laughs> that's what you that's what I'm saying. Because you're so tall, your arms look weird on your body. I showed you all the line men that are probably like what maybe six two, six three. That their the arms look right on them because they're shorter. You're six nine. It's not gonna look right. And I'm pretty sure the game probably did not register like when when they made when they made this game. I'm pretty sure they did not imagine some probably like people made a seven foot play character for fun. But yeah, hold on. Like I, let me let me give me a second. Yeah, your primary strength. Yeah, but but Drax's character gonna be six five. Drax is gonna be six five. Yeah, you are your 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 primary strength. Your your primary strength. So you already have a ninety strength. So I don't I don't know what to tell you. In the fourth quarter. You want a QB at Cincinnati? All right, now, it's fixed now. I don't know what I did, but it's fixed now. Northern Illinois, Northern Illinois got to do something because this game about to be over. After this, I will play my game. I will do my game for Cincinnati so y'all can see me play and see how we do. But in NBA 2K, NBA 2K, I'll do it. In NBA 2K, I will play as myself. Def Jam is the only one I'm not controlling nobody. I'm not doing that because I play the game. I know the game. It just would be not fun doing that because then I could probably just... I mean, the game is hard, but I don't want to try to sweep everybody. You feel me? So it just would not be fair because then I'll be champion. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. You was going to warn warn him about this, what? About being 6'5"? Can I join Tipsy? All this will be talked about at the end of the season. We're not going to talk about this right now. Because that that's... Focus on what's going on. We got to take this week by week. We can have these... Con that's the thing about it because... I don't want to have these conversations right now. It's only week six. And a lot can happen still. And then get like... Jump it up and lost. That's why... I, that's... Um, cause, damn, first down, that looks like his game. That looks like his game. But as I was trying to say, because Drax sent me his stuff, and so did, uh, Tank, but it's so early that I probably will forget about it. So I'd just rather just wait until the season is over. And then we start having the conversations because then I can go live and actually do a breakdown of everything. Y'all about to win. Why would he pass? Why would he want to pass? That's football logic, brother. That's football logic. You out here trying to stat pad. You're getting mad about not getting the ball. You're one of those players. That's the type of stuff. I get it. Uh, Jack didn't pass. Still, y'all about to win. A win is a win. A win is a win. Y'all about to win right now. Yeah, the game's over. Jack is still, Jack is going to be starting because he got the win, brother. Here's the game. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense the game is over. One of the biggest stops of the game. Like, if we want to, if I want to be honest, what? Notre Dame I don't, holds a four point lead. Oh, yeah, they're just going to run out the clock. But if I if I am going to be honest with you, yes, Jack is the QB. If I'm going to be, if I'm going to be honest with you, Rex, and this is for anybody, I can tell you would be the type of player. 
that would be wanting more money because you feel like you're doing it all. Or like Kevin Durant, jumping from team to team because your team is ass after one season. Or not even to be an ass or just not give you to get in the ball much. So then why are you getting mad about Jack not feeding y'all the ball if y'all getting the winner? I understand I understand you want the ball dearly because of your guy. But then again, you select a Notre Dame and Notre Dame might not be the place for you. You want to know the name. I'm staying at Cincinnati for at least two seasons to give it two two chances because our QB is about to leave. So he's a senior. So our season right now, I'm like, okay, you know, let's just stick it out. Our season is done. So our QB has gone. But if the next season go the same route, then yeah, I'm going to jump ship. So you got to give a chance. You got to give a hope. Like, also could be the thing of freshmen versus seniors because you got to remember that. Like, I'll go to here. Uh, oh, let me uh, let me before I let me let me look at my boy Brian Lewis. Twelve yards, fifty-eight. I mean, twelve attempts, fifty-eight yards. Some some decent. You see. You had the QB right there, Scrambler. They be running a lot because they got the title Scrambler. I don't like that. You got Brian Lewis over here, five reception, 26 yards. And then over to you. Let's go to you know, the Dame side of things. Five, 15 of 21, 98 yards, one interception. So it just really was a defensive matchup. You say 27 times, he only threw 21 times. And made most of them. He was 71%. Rushing. Jack Fallen. 5 attempts, 17 yards. Golden. 10, 10 attempts, 39 yards. Um, depending on whatever your build is. Your build depends on what your build is. Now we'll go over to you. See? So we got the sophomore. You got two catches. For five yards. So he tried to get to you. Most most I've seen you get in the game. Got two catches. Five yards. But yeah, as we promised them, you say six, nine, three hundred pounds. You have, you have uh, Boner. Four, four receptions, 37 yards. Th three for 25. Two for five. Two for 20. So it was just a defensive game overall, bro. It was just a defensive game. Nobody could give an inch. Okay, you got it right here, five and five, six and six, seven and seven. Oh, yeah, I forgot I put this as a neutral site game uh, for these two. And there it is. They, I like that Notre Dame and uh, uh, Notre Dame and Northern Illinois. It's got their own zone. I like that. I like that. I'm on Cincinnati. I'm about to play. Usually I go on YouTube on this, but since I'm already doing this, I might as well just, you know, keep it continue on. It just be it would just it'd be foolish to go on like end the live, go over there and come back. Like you just might as well continue it on, you know? Alright. Damn, fifty five to fifty three, that must have been a crazy game. But yeah, I'll go to you right now. I'll I'll go to you right now, uh Rex. So you can see see your character. I've had over 1,000 viewers in this right here. That's wild. And I haven't been here the whole time. So edit, edit roster. Yeah, and the thing is, I made their awareness of 99, so if your awareness is 99, he should be doing the best passes possible. Uh, I'll have to look and see. Um, it's based off your record. So, yeah. So, like, I'll do this. I'll show you. And we'll bring it, we'll bring it down. 
Oh. Okay. See? It's not really a difference. Like, even if I put the arm build up, like, it's just how it is. And, like, if I drop him down, like, to... Too foldy. You see, you see now how it looks more. You know, it looks it looks much better. But because I do this, see how look how funny it looks. You get what I mean, y'all. Oh, she's um. But yeah, see, because you're bigger, it looks weird. Like, even with the arm mass all the way up, like, like I do like this. You see, this is 70, right? Y'all see 70. And here go 100%. And if I drop, look, look get you. Because you're so tall, I'm not going to get you to 240 right now. But see, even 260, it looks better. It looks better. But no, we're going to right now, right now, two, two, 290. Like I, 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 I did, I like I did what you wanted. I did what you wanted. You said you wanted the guy to be six nine and keep him at the weight that you said was like three hundred plus. So, but all right, KJ been asking about it. It's time. It's time for some me time. Yeah, I kept it at 100. I kept it at 100. It's time for us, man. We are 0-5 right now. Wait a second. Let me let me go to myself. I know I put... Did I put mine at 100% too? If I didn't, I got to do that too. Yeah, this is me, y'all. This is me. Right here. Real life height, 5'9". I weigh more, but I went with my high school. I was going based off of high school. So, high school, 220. I was not I was not a small kid by any means in high school. So, that's me. Yeah, now you see what I mean, Rex. Like, as in, because you're so tall, it's going to look weird, regardless. And because of your weight too, that that you want to be. That's why. That's why I made that cap of six. I made the cap of six five. You wanted six nine. I gave you what you want. Can't be. You can't be coming at me when I I I I I I I, I you know. Bended the rules to give what you want, and you're not satisfied with it. <laughs> but after this, I'm going four quarters only.
Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by KJ. Innovation that excites. The Bearcats have been mired in this deep funk, and sometimes when things start going wrong, the harder you work, the worse it gets. At least it seems that way. They have to find a way to relax. I'm looking back right now, y'all, because stink bugs have been getting in my crib somehow. I'm getting tired of seeing them. But here we go. Here is me, my Cincinnati. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. You see, I messed up so bad. Real Coke taste, zero calories. All right. I only play as myself. I don't play as anybody else. I don't play as QB. If they take me out, I just play as a lineman. All right. All right. And I always, always, always ask for coach opinion. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. There is me right there. I'm not a running back. I'm not a linebacker. I'm a silver back. Bring him down at about the 23 yard. just smash mouth helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominate. But I show you. You going to see how my QB's dumb, bro. He be pissing me off. Look, ah, he looks to me. Yes, let's go. There be cases when I do a play like that, I be butt booted, butt naked wide open. And he misses me. I'm trying to get us our first win. We we come so close and lose every time. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Dang, my 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 uh my 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 lineman got in my way. They're about 4 yards away here on second down. Damn. Also, my QB running too much. He he, 84 overall senior. I'm happy he got the lead. I'm hoping. Let's go, bro. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Y'all see how butterball booty open I be? And I be hitting the X too. It's not like I don't call for it. And our deep, and our O line's kind of trash too, bro. That's that's why I'm that's why I'm giving this two seasons here. I'm giving like at least two seasons because we pro hopefully can get like a new set of people come in. And change the game or like some uh you know what? I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the hot route. Yes sir. Yes sir, y'all. I'm open! They'll make the sack. Boy Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. Who would be interested to see Who was blocking him? Whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Bro, who was blocking that man? Third and long here, and they hope to convert That man to had a free first class ticket to tackle him, bro. High route, me. I called for it, but I thought he was going to lob it up. Damn. I mean, skip the play. Hold on. Ask coach. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Where am I? Where am I at? Ah, hold on. They make the stop right around the 30. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver. 
I'm so confused because every time he drops back the pass. I play on defense too. Oh, let's go! Let's go! To the house! To the house! <laughs> Can I change the depth chart? There's no way to change the depth chart. That sucks. Oh, there it is. Oh, coach must have just took me out of that play then. Yeah, he just must have just took took me out. Let's go. First and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. I hope so, KJ. We, we need a better QB because he is buns. And he when he be running too, he fumbles so much. He be scaring me when he runs. Oh yeah. Give me good blocking. Give me good block right now. Give me good block right now. Dang! We're down! That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing Bro. being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Scruggs is waiting for the snap. Plenty of hang time on this one. Signals for a fair catch. I love Cincinnati. I love the Bearcats. But, but, but college-wise football. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Let's go! All I got to say is if we win more games, than, if we even win about three more games, if we win three games next season, I'm going to stay because this team right here is hot boo cheeks. All right, hot boo cheeks. Maybe hopefully we can turn around. Maybe we can turn it around. Uh, I have to look and see. Um, like I said, it's based on the conference record, not your overall record. Because you can have a you can have a real bad Ah you have a real bad overall record, but if you win in your games in your conference, you're gonna be higher in the rankings for the conference. I'm a I'm a sim this because I, I I'm not doing a punt return. Um okay. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Oh, let's go! Oh, look at them hands! Uh, I don't know how... See... You're looking at the you're looking at the college football rankings. Don't worry about that. That doesn't matter. What matters is your wins in the conference. That's what matters. You're looking at like overall college football. We're not doing that. We're not worried about that. It's about your com your conference records, which we'll get into. First down. Look at me, shifty. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of seven yards. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Tackle outside go. after a nice pickup. Come on, baby. Come on, let's keep on chucking. Let's keep on chucking. And 
they get nice yardage on that run. That's a deep four. That makes it second and six. Please don't do nothing stupid. We came down here so far. It's always when we get this close to the end zone, the QB does something stupid. Brian, what? I was wide open through the middle! So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Let me not get too hostile. We're right here. Third and two. Let's get this, guys. Let's go! First down! I'm not doing no damn speed option with the QB. He be have he bro. I f oh come on, I'm spinning triangle. Got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. What to do, Jason? Uh, once again, like I said, I will get to it when it's time. All right, we will. <laughs> Rex, <laughs> Rex, focus on what's going on right now. We will get into that when it comes time. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I, I appreciate I appreciate your voice and your concern. But sometimes you gotta focus on what's going on. Sometimes you you be missing that. You like when like when we be watching games about other games, you bring up Notre Dame and having no conversations, which is cool. I'm not saying don't do it, but it's like every match or like every so statement you worried about Notre Dame when it comes. It's like. Brother, if I will get to your question, I, I heard you. I, I I saw what you said. <laughs> Louis Caesar sounds fire right now. I haven't had that in so long. Damn! I was not even controlling me. They not even give me. They. This team does the hurry up offense. That must be really the coach's game plan. Cause. Damn! Who was? Bro. Yeah, like I said, you you you're basically focusing on the wrong thing. Don't worry about that. We will get to that. When it comes time, and also you're five and one now. Damn. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. Bruh, they, bruh, they keep doing the hurry up offense on us and not giving us a chance to breathe. Oh, I left my, I, I, I was falling to running back. Is this is 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 Houston, does Houston do this in real life? Maybe this is 2014. Bro, they are hurry up offense. They don't stop. And they come away with seven points. Well, so I guess that's hey realism for you. 
They did not give us a chance to damn breathe. This is the point in the game they, where you but that's them, though. They score quick. So this is why we got to play that football to slow down the clock then and keep, keep the ball away from them. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Bro, y'all hear that? It sound like a it sound like I ran into a fucking brick wall. <laughs> I got lit up. It's second and five here. Ball on the 22 yard line. They try to get off the field so damn fast. They try running left. Ooh, let's go. Yes, sir. Big strong back. Big back, big back. <laughs> I'm not in, so. And the QB is. Like I said, I don't. If I let the CPU take charge, there you go. Let's go. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. What the? It makes an off. Oh no! Oh no! Nah, number 13 must be on that Diddy timing, bruh. Cuz look at him. Bro, what is. Then watch this. Gas up, right? It's still falling. What is what is 13 on? You know he go to the Diddy parties, bruh. This camera goes. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! This is out. This is insane. <laughs> Hide your baby oil. <laughs> Oh, oh, let me continue on, brother. <laughs> let me continue on, brother. I didn't just watch my teammate get violated by number 13. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. He's like, I like you and I want you. I spent off dude, but I didn't get nothing. Alright, y'all. We got to have some fun. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. I didn't get a goddamn chance to get get get, get, get motion, and sh bro. Man's gonna throw that fucking heater. Can a brother? Can a brother have a chance to? Let's go! Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll bring him down right around midfield. Peters on the tackle. 50 yard line. First down. First down. 10 to go. Ball on the 50. My boy Manny! I can't get him free. He's wrapped up for the sack. Here's the eighth play of the series. But this is good for us. We just dra we just draining the clock right now. We're just draining the clock. That's what we want. I'm open! I'm open!
What's that? What's, what's that guy up there right at the top of the screen, bro? Y'all see? Top of the screen right there, bro. What 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 does this QB decide to do, bro? Does it does he even look at way look at me and takes off the run? KJ! KJ! <laughs> Telling me the wrong reigns. Hold on, y'all. I see goddamn seat bug. Stink bugs be annoying me. Y'all know something about stink bugs, bro? Stink bugs don't really do nothing. Stink bugs are like mosquitoes. If we wiped them out, the ecosystem would not be hurt. Like, if you look it up, it literally shows that stink bugs are really just pests. They're just pests. They don't add value to the ecosystem. Fuck them stink bugs, bro. Fuck them. And mosquitoes too. Both of them can go go somewhere. They 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 can just I don't know. I don't know. We need to be like Joe Burrow and Chase. We definitely can. Or actually 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 you could be Lamar, I be, I be, I be, uh, I be Derrick Henry. But what's up, MTG? Got me paranoid now. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle at the 40. No. Because Tipsy's the Tipsy's the QB. You wouldn't start. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line. You would, you would be back up to Tipsy. Yeah. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. Tipsy is the QB over there. That's why would you want to be a QB when you wide receiver with a QB over there? You're the one who. Uh... Oh shoot, bro! I... Y'all pray for my QB, bro. Play, please play. Okay, he throws to Johnson. Let's go. And he's level at the 20 yard line. What a play! Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. It's first and ten. Oh shoot! I only, only saw we got us eight seconds left. I didn't even realize that. All right, we'll try. We'll try one last pass play. Yeah, he told me. I got his stuff in my phone. I got. Him, I got his stuff in on the Discord. Damn! Damn! He got up. the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, QB got the, the I mean the linebacker got the fuck up. I ain't gonna lie. 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 12. They'll drop him for a loss. We played a half of football. We're even at 7 in this one. What do you think is funny? That he wants to be a 65 QB or wide receiver? 
Hold on, y'all. Yeah, because the cap. Sheesh. A seven foot? No. No. I'm not doing no damn seven foot player. You got me tripping. It's already crazy enough having you be 6'9. If he was a seven foot QB, I would make him, he would be slow as possible, bro. I'm not about to do that. Make no seven foot player with a 90 speed. Sheesh. This ain't the NBA. Plus, being that damn big, he wouldn't last that long. Being that damn big, that tall, and real life football. That's. Let's break this down real fast, y'all. Because it was the whole conversation about football versus basketball. A lot of players in the NBA would be considered way too tall for the NFL would be way too tall to play college football. Because the fact of the matter, the average NBA player is six foot or higher. Usually those who are six foot are either wide receivers or linemen. And linemen are always usually around close to maybe 100 pounds heavier than the average six foot point guard. So you throw in players like Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, Nikola Jokic, players who are 6'11", 7' foot, bro. In football, they would their careers would be so shortened. They would careers would be put to, their careers would be shortened so fast because them legs, them fucking legs would take a beating. That's why at least with basketball you can back down, you know, not really get a hint of your legs, but football. Your legs go, you the taller you are, the lower body is where they're going to go for the most. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams. It said he was going to play some college basketball team. He got hit to the hit. Yeah. Like as much as we love football, like me, football is more would be more for me because of my height versus trying to play basketball. I would be severely undersized these days. Um, and yeah, trying to play football as a seven foot player is not it. It might seem fun, but you got to got think logical about the health. Let's go! Look at me celebrating. And honestly, it's amazing that he's alive and well. Um, oh, yeah! Let's go! Still, you can have tree trunk legs. They don't give a fuck. If you have tree trunk legs, they will still come for your legs. Because... You could be seven foot. You could be seven foot with tree truck legs. But a player like Ray Lewis coming at you, full speed, he gonna knock the wind out of you. You gotta play like uh you gotta play like Jamal Lewis, Brian Dawkins, Troy Palamalu, old school Lawrence Taylor coming at you full speed. Don't matter, them tree truck legs will be cut down to size. Or they going for that belly. And that's going to knock the wind out you real fast. That's high school, brother. 
That's the thing a lot of people don't understand. You can dominate in high school. You can dominate in college. But how many players have truly came to the NFL and dominated? I'll wait. I'll tell you players who dominated in college and dominated in the NFL. But I'll tell you how long their careers lasted. Not that long. Barry Sanders. Career, 10 years. For a running back, that's actually pretty lengthy. But RG3. Dominated in college. Won the Heisman and all that. Went to the NFL. Knees gave out. Yeah, but he would be playing basketball. Because with his size, basketball is made for him being seven foot. It's not made for him being an NFL player. Believe me, if it was, then there would be way more seven foot players playing in the NFL at right now. Because you know how many are? Coming to Cincinnati, what happened, brother? Yeah. What happened? Also, you can't be QB already over there. They already have a QB over there named uh Let's go break that tackle! They already got a QB over there. His name is Steve Merka. They need about three yards to get the first down here on And you would not be starting over Steve Merka. He's a beast. LSU is undefeated. But then again, like I said, Rex, I, 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 you play this well, and you understand the game as somebody like me as well, who not even just knowledgeable about the game, but not even just knowing, but just knowing the differences between basketball and football. Where like, man, like you know, I'm six seven. I would dominate football easily. No, you would not. No, you would not. Depending on what position. No, you would not. Seven foot QB? No, you would not. Even a seven foot wide receiver? No, you would not. Because they would become. And he is drilled at the 49 yard line. Well, you will be uh, at wide receiver two then because they got NCAA young boy starting at the wide receiver. Bro, I try to cut back. Third and long, and you know what? Up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. So they're going to go for it here. This is kind of a surprising call right here by the coach. This is an obvious punting situation. Are we going for it? Because why? Why not? Why not? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! If we lose because of him. No, I don't want Jack. Cause look at this, bro. Why? He he was so ready to run. He, he, he didn't even set his feet before trying to take off.
but the fact of the matter, the QB didn't even try. This was no play action pass. All right. The thing is, he he'd even he'd even take a second to try to set his feet. But sorry, before before believing the play play broke down. Look at him. And the thing is, he still can throw on the run. Nobody's in Alabama. Nobody's in Alabama. Alabama's open. Last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Yeah! To about the 43. Okay. Now I'm keeping I'm I'm keeping Jack over at, I'm keeping Jack at Notre Dame. Plus our our uh our QB is a senior, so he'll be leaving regardless next this season. I don't want to just have everybody just bounce after one season. You know? Everybody so quickly to hop in the transfer portal like that's why I'm at least giving two seasons. Throw, caught, touchdown. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gains about five yards on the run. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. There's no wide receiver at, with Tipsy. Oh, I was Quinn. I did not realize I was Quinn. Yeah, there's there's no wide receiver. It's just Tipsy. He the QB over there, but there's no wide receiver over there. But I will tell you this, you go there, you're not transferring again. You only get one transfer, that's it. And so it's another third down upcoming here. I'm not gonna be letting y'all bounce, bounce all over because one season go bad. He gets rid of this one. 
And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta know, y'all. Am I crazy? Am I crazy to believe that I'm good on a bad team? I'm a good player on a bad team. He steps out at the 31-yard line. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbound when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able Bro, to down or not. What? Bro, his feet were a goddamn mile long. Now I'm, I can't do it. Like I said, like like I said, I, I ain't gonna transfer after just one season. Nah, I'm at least give it two seasons. That way, also, if this was real life, then I would get my at least my associate's degree before transferring. But I'm not transferring just yet. I got patience. Oh! I'll let that cue be good. Oh, I was spamming wide. I was spamming triangle. Damn, I was right there for the interception. Damn, they even had a chance to. Damn! Fuck it! I didn't get a chance to. That would be one year. What you mean, one year? It takes two years to get your associate's degree. No, it takes two years to get your associate's degree. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. I don't know what what college that it takes one year to get an associate's degree. Fires that quickly incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little That's if you started yeah, if you start a high school maybe, but for average regular people it's two years. Second down. Let's go. This is the eighth play of this drive. Houston is up seven. Uh, damn it. Yes, let's go. I've deflected that. Coordinator did a great job with the play call there. Put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play. I don't. I'm not sure how how you get it that fast. Like I said, the only time I ever seen like that happen is if you start in high school early. How many weeks are in a season? Twelve. He gets it up and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We've been keeping an eye on everything going on in the top 25. The Horned Frog strikes through the air, getting into the end zone. For okay, we got to do something. We got to score, y'all. We are down. Look, we down by 10. I'm, I'm not throwing in the towel yet. We are not cooked because we still have a chance. Let's go! No, I'm gonna pull their own. I'm gonna pull their own method on them. Hurry this shit up! No, I'm not doing the hail mary. Oh, let's go! The, oh, the halfback dive. It's been effective right now. They are not stopping me. Tackle after a 
decent run up the gut. I'm almost at 100 yards, y'all. I'm going to keep spamming this like it's NFL Street because that's what I be doing. Because the run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Tackle at the 43 yard line. Finally caught on. That's all right. That's all right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. What do you pass? And down he goes at about the forty one. Damn! What happened to my blocks? They won't get the first down. Unable to convert. All that effort, bro. What happened to my blocks? We had it good. Down and the ball changes hands. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. I think this coach just took me out really too. Step it up and make it stop. Freak it! I'm a, I'm a just, I'm a just control the whole team. Then. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 47 yard line. Yeah, because I'm not getting back on the field right now. Coach then took me off the field right now. I whiff, that's on me, that's on me, that's on me. I whiff, I whiff. I'm not going to use my timeouts at all yet. I still got time. We've been doing well. Ah, hit your ankle! Ah, man, he should have went up for that. Mm. I'm going to get an interception. That QB has not, not been, th been uh, throwing very accurate. Okay, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he posted to say, Watch the draw down. The 26 yard line, just a simple draw play, there, but they picked up some big yards. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-six. I'm gonna start using my timeouts. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth. Come on. Come on. To the right and tackle immediately. The Bearcats taking their first time out of the half. Mm -hmm. Might be early, but the thing is, there's there's no two minute warnings in this game. Get him! Makes it to the 17. That's good for a game. That'll make it very long. They're doing hurry up again? Oh, brother. He's going to do a run play. Hey, he watch. Ah, come on! Cincinnati's going to have to use.
use their second time out of the half. That's cooked. This game. Uh, this game. And they scored on us too. The Cougars coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. There were cases where I did pick, say, hey, throw it to me. And the QB threw it, and then that was a bad throw. But a lot of times, as we witness, the QB doing some dumb shit, man. I was done. I was so done. Me and other dude was wide open. And the QB didn't even take a second to set his feet before wanting to take off. I need a pocket passer type of QB, bro. I don't need a scrambler. I need a pocket passer type of QB. I do not need a scrambler. I need somebody who, who's not going to even try to run, bro. I need like a Drew Brees. Like, only moves to get, you know, wiggle room, but I don't need I don't need a scrambler QB. It doesn't work well with us. Like, look at him. 11 of 20, 115 yards, 1 TD, 2 interceptions, 4 freaking sacks I blame it on him being from Michigan he's from Michigan at that playing for an Ohio team he came in to sabotage this bro and he's a red shirt too meaning that coach shot him out for a year to get him better clearly he was wrong but here I am, 28 attempts, 95 yards. I averaged 3 yards, 3.3 yards a carry, which means I was getting yards, but they was just, you know, chuggling along. You know, I was eating away. I was eating away at them yards. This man kept trying to run. He got negative 6 yards on 6 attempts. His longest was 4. What? The logic of him trying to run. Receiving. Six receptions. 72 yards. One TD. Defensive. I only had one tackle I believe. Yep. But that's also because a lot of times as you saw when I try to get a tackle. The lineman would get me right there what I'm right there for it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just saw me get cooked. It's time to move on and get to the rest of these games. All right. Can it get worse for O and six for the O and six Bearcats? If we lose, if we lose every game this season, man. All right. 
Now it's time to move on to Arkansas and Memphis. Where's Tipsy Boat at? Stand up real fast. My source was slipping for a second. Oh man! I had to stand up, get my joints moving. Uh. <laughs> you starving? Man, I had the only thing I've had today was a pizza. Like my leftover pizza that I had from Papa John's, funny enough. It was pretty fire. And I'll say this I've been messing with lately. Y'all ever go through a time period where, like, your food tastes slowly change or some of your favorite things? Where I don't know what it is, but I've been really rocking with square shaped pizzas. Like, like when I call like Pizza Hut or like even uh, Papa John's, I put down like squares for my pizzas. And I've been really walking with the squares lately, honestly. I don't know what it is. I've, 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 I guess it to me it seems like do, versus doing regular, regular triangle shapes, the squares you get a lot more out of than triangles. Memorial Stadium located in Memphis. Makes sense. Cause like legitimately I've been eating on that pizza no, yesterday? Yeah, I ate it. I ate some yesterday. Yeah, I ate some yesterday to say they didn't ate some today and I'm I'm still like not full not hungry yet. What up, darkness, my bro? What it do? What it do? Right now, we're, we're in week six of, of Gridiron Legends League. Um, getting closer to the end of the stream soon. One, one square, one slice. Okay. So let's say you get two large pieces, one square, one slice. You have a good. Uh, you have a good Sunday. Dang. All right, y'all. 20 to 10. What can Tipsy Boat do? The slice you can't eat. Eat the entire day and then be full the entire day, maybe. And I think also with the squares, I would just fold them up to you. Ever seen how the people say, you know, like in New York, they fold the pieces like that. That's what I'll be doing to those that you don't like that. I don't, I, I, like you said, I just think, you know, with the, uh, with the squares, I just get more. But here we go, y'all. Tipsy boat. The float. Drive back pass. Throws a heater. Finds his man, but goes out of bounds short. That was a clutch play on fourth down, but they are still down a couple of scores, and it's going to take some work for this team to get back into this game. This is the 13th play of this drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. Tipsy in for the touchdown! excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter but they've got to get their heads back in it now we've got a tight football game and a long way to go trying to get within a field goal they'll try the point after and he adds the extra point 
Yeah, darkness. If you want to be in this, you're more than welcome to. I'll get you in for next season. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna put my headphones down because I gotta use the restroom real fast, y'all. This game was so tight. Most important, Georgia captures the four-point win. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Tackle made at the 20. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Arkansas State holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled at the 33. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. Right, he can't get back to the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their stuff. Oh, man. From their own 29 yard line. Oof. Second down. Okay. Oh, the sound. Y'all don't hear nothing right now. Okay, hold on. Johnson, back to return it. What you what you curious on um darkness? As Memphis gets the ball back. Johnson takes it at the 23, and he's tackled at the 33 yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Now he's scrambling. All right. So darkness, this is how it works, all right? And I'll explain this as well when we get to the next season and everything. What this is, is a custom Road to Glory slash Dynasty Mode series that I'm running um, in NCAA 14. What happens is if you want to join, you I'll just have you join the Discord. And then I will send you over... Um, I will send you over a list. It will have how you build your player, and that's how you join. And then you pick whatever team you want to be on, depending on which team you try to be, or I mean, I should say, depending on which position you choose, will impact whether you can join some of these teams. Because if you want to be a QB, you are more than fine to be a QB. But say you try to be a QB and try to join LSU, Who's a team that already has people on there? The the QB position is taken, you know. So I'm not sure that's going to impact impact what you want to be, but that's just how it's going to work because I want to be a lineman, defense or offense. Honestly, I will rock with it, you know. Um, I haven't did a lineman type of thing, a lineman type of player. But um, I could sit down and look at what I have, and we could work on something. Because um, there is, there is some, there is, uh, what is it? Some primaries that I have, you will have some blocking stats in them. So 
there's that. Um, I, I, I will get. I will figure that out. I got. Pl- I got time too as well. So that's a first. That is a first. I have not seen somebody win. Oh my goodness! That gives him a hundred yards in the game. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that. Yo! Nah, that just might be the catch of the season. Bro, man's went up double, triple covered, right? He went, he caught it as he was going up. Gas his leg sandwich between two defenders. Still holds on to the ball. I don't know what this is, but Weevil Wobbles in midair somehow lands his boot cheeks on somebody's kneecap, and that was enough to bust it back up. That's insane. One one more time, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, but this time, the perspective of him. Bloody insane. Bloody insane. Oh, I think, okay, so it seems like if I watch the replay, it resets it. Second and set, second and two. Arkansas is really trying to drain out this clock, man. But Memphis does have all three timeouts. Less than two minutes left to go in this game. Drop back pass. Finds his man and gets the first down. And they have to take their first front. They have to take their first timeout. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw. I think that catch gave Arkansas State enough momentum to try to win this game. But we shall see. They ran. They run the ball again. It's wrapped up second and nine. Memphis takes their second timeout. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 29 yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Hands off again. Gets up the middle of the first. Down he goes. Down. The defense put everything into that sequence of plays. I believe that's it, honestly. It really is demoralizing for the defense. They took their t- they took their final time down. But what's that going to do? Get six yards on the carry. Absolutely nothing. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hands it off. Gets the first down. Wash it in for their touchdown. JJ's y'all. JJ's. I mean, it's 56 seconds. I might as well let it play out. I don't know what Memphis can do in 56 seconds. <sighs> With no timeouts. Down by 10. They need a freaking miracle to happen. From his own goal line. Yeah, because we be doing all the games, man. We be doing all the games. But like I said, I know y'all talk y'all down for possibly doing the week, so that will help speed it up. And he stops 
stops the clock with a spike. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Under a minute left. And he's going to come up with a sack. Chase it down. Oh, and he's got the halfback again. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Wow. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. That's a game, y'all. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 27-17, Arkansas State. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. Uh, my phone is out here tweaking on me right now. I'm about to restart my phone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Memphis takes that fall. Also, Rex, I'm about to go over to the standing so you can see what I mean. Usually, I do this at the end. That's why I, I would try to wait, but I, you, was, you was asking about it so, so, so much earlier. Uh, let me go over to my boy, Tipsy Boat, 20 for 30, 20. 39, 239. That's funny. One TD, two INTs. Did not play his best performance. Only nine yards rushing. But I have one TD. Wait a second. That has to be one one of the most what stat lines I ever seen. Ten attempts, nine yards, point zero point nine yards per rush. One TD. His longest was five yards long. Long. That's a Jerome Bennett stat line, if I ever seen it. Stat lines that look like that, like, because how do you get 0 0.9, not a yard, 0 0.9? I can't even talk. I was out here yawning. <laughs> when you get scared, real shit. Listen. Go over the standings so you can see how what I'm talking about. All right, you don't look at the top 25. You're looking at the tw top 25. That's that's what you were doing. You're looking at this. You were looking at all of this right here. Focus on this. So this is what matters most. As you see, we somehow still have, might have a chance to make the playoffs because it's based on conference. Your conference, see, LSU and Texas are both 5-1. and one. This is conference standings. 
not top 25 standings. You're look, you're thinking about top 25 standings. See, you're looking at that right there. Where the Longhorn says rank 10 and LSU's number one, you're looking at that. You need to be focused. This conference standings, as you see. But you haven't. You're five and one in the conference. Clemson is one and zero. Oh. They have you down here because you got that. You got the one loss. All these teams are unbeaten, which is why they got the edge over you. I know it's stupid. I don't know why. But yeah, that's the reason being. This is conference standings. So. If you're winning all of your conference games, like see right here, Clemson is two one and two, but they're one on the conference. Texas AM was four and one. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, Memphis is one and four, and they're one and three in the conference. Everybody else has zero zero wins. So it's like I said, it just it just the it just the conference standings, not your overall ranking. Because overall, top twenty-five, LSU is number one. But conference, you got LSU, Texas, Memphis, and Ohio State at the if the season ended right now, they will be in the playoffs. Oregon State, Michigan, Texas AM, and for some reason Clemson. But I might have to overwrite that because that's stupid right now. Like y'all have played five games, y'all five and one, and they have Clemson over here. I don't agree with that. Because it is my rules. Like it is how what I'll go, but I still be trying to be logical. But all right, y'all. Clemson versus Vanderbilt. Here we go. At the end of the season. Yeah. Playoffs is at the end of the season. There are 12 weeks in the in college football season. They didn't have a championship game. But we're not going to have. We're not going to do like championship game. We're going to go straight into the playoffs. Vanderbilt's been unable to get anything going over the last few weeks. The losing streak is starting to grow and feed on itself. Doubt has crept in. Will they be able to find a way to right the ship? That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. If y'all and listen, if if Rex loses in the first round, he crashing out, bro. Especially if they get Molly walked and say somehow Rex has a great game. Oh, he losing it, bro. Running down the hill is one of the many traditions that you'll see here at Clemson Memorial Stadium, the site of today's game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Clemson has my boy. Grant Carlson, he's the running back and linebacker. Vanderbilt has my boy Keanu. He is a um, linebacker. And also, the seedings will be based on record. So we'll have conference record. You don't know how that gets in. Then we'll go by based off overall record. But you lost one game. 
Texas A&M is undefeated. I allowed them to. I did, in fact, allow them to. But that's because he picked a team that nobody's playing on. If you're going to pick a team that you're going on, you're not going to get an extra player. But say if you pick a team nobody's on, like Syracuse, South Carolina, Georgia, um, Tennessee, you know, just for example, teams that don't have anybody there, yeah, you have two players. Now, Alabama does not have anybody. Actually, Gandalf said he was going to try to go to Alabama. So you would have to pick another team. Gandalf said he's going to Alabama. Oh, baby. 10 to 3. All right. Now, Rex, do you see also why I'm just doing four quarters only? Because right now this live is going to four hours long. It takes a lot on my hard drive to save it to my laptop and then upload it to YouTube. Oof. But I do this for y'all. But now, honestly, I do I do agree. I think I'm about to start spreading this out and doing like Tuesdays and Thursdays until I start the 2K. Tuesdays and Thursdays for at least a couple games or whatever. All right, y'all. Here we go. Fourth quarter, Clemson to Vanderbilt. Who do y'all got? Clemson or Vanderbilt? All right. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Picks up about three with that catch. They continue to just chip their way down this football field. First and ten. Ball on the 21. That was it. Fastest man. One fifty for the end zone. Touchdown. Trying to point after. He splits the uprights with the extra. All right, I'm. Then I'll act. Here's an update from the studio. Ah, uh, but but buddy, I told you, uh, Gandalf's going to Alabama. We'll keep them there. And for Louisville, so you have to change that. Reaches five. The Cardinals walk out. You you won't be able to go to Alabama. Now, if you want to go to Auburn. In this game, ranked number six. And for Georgia, they put together... God dang, my forehead looks fat as shit right now. <laughs> I got a mega mind going on. Peaky and the brain is special. Double by a surprise. Call, bro, you can slap the goddamn it drive through either uh, put a projection on my forehead right now. Got that Jimmy Neutron brain. <laughs> chance to win this game. Clemson is up by three. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Gandalf be popping to my live stream. Believe me, he will be here. He will be here. Play action. Very good tackle in space. Bro might as well not be a part of anything. This just... You gotta be patient. This is a weekly thing. This is not like something I just do every day. This is a weekly thing. Because of how long these take to do. And they got him for a loss. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. 
Tiana was lit up body boy. Let me do this. Lewis is the deep man awaiting the there return. Vanderbilt is making a comeback on Clemson, y'all. He's out to the 30, heading for the corner. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Clemson just comes storming back in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and they're not done yet. There's still time there. They're thinking about maybe winning this game. Both teams realize that with a ball <sighs> snap, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Here's an opening. Mm, first down. Yard line. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. I'm going to teach our ass about patience when it comes to this. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to teach our asses ass about patience. Y'all eager to jump in. This is <laughs> Complete. He's got room. Like some leagues, yeah. Like other places, like WWE, uh, Dub Jam, you can jump in any time. But these, because of being sports, is way different. Soft hands and good speed that time. That's a big play. Plus, it's college. You can't just sign a free agent. <laughs> you can't just do that. I'm trying to keep this in somewhat realism uh, with how things re work in real life. Throws it, find this man first, second and four. Right. Can't we all be friends? Like, no need to get hostile. No need to try to get, you know, it's all right. But it's all right, bro. And as you see, it's so dysfunctional this season. Everybody want to leave. So, yeah, it's, you don't want to try to join right now where everybody's trying to leave. Because you come and join, they gone. <laughs> and you still got to technically do a full season. You came half of the season. That's another full season. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 13. Oh. Uh, it off. And he's tackled at the 11. 39, y'all. But damn, it's going so late. I'm I, I'm not going to do every other game now, bro. It's getting so late. Just under I got to see who else is playing. Like, because... Fires right side, got his tailback, and they make the stop at about the nine-yard line. Because th the last game I watch is going to be the LSU game. LSU versus Michigan. I need to do that. So when is the group doing? Man, look. You know what's funny about that? My friend Tori, she, I, I saw her last night. She was talking about uh. How she missed all of us being together. And. Kicks away. Um, she wants us to get back together in the box. And I got to start doing some stuff like that. I might. I'll probably go possibly live tonight. Like. Like regular live. Because I haven't been regular live in a second. I've been doing these game streams. And I got to do at least. You know. A couple. Um, regular streams so I'll probably go live for maybe a little bit tonight um, I know I would do it definitely on Saturdays but this my schedule has just been so dysfunctional that's probably been on me because of my work not work and life because I work second shift as he throws the heater oh he gets this man to a dot over top of him Ugh. Last time was us then switching over to another live. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. Let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. 
I also got to get back on streaming on YouTube, and I've been neglecting that. So, um, I'm gonna get on a proper schedule starting this week. Like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays will be Def Jam. I'm gonna be going live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday, and doing GTA. Um, so that it become intertwined. That if you see me, if you do and see me doing GTA, you know that it's Def Jam Day. If that makes sense, intertwine them together. Then I will probably do on um, Tuesdays. Um, strip. I'll stream regular on YouTube because I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays for stuff if I feel like going live on TikTok, you know, or somebody asks me, hey, Dory, you going live? I'm like, yeah, I go live. Um, but yeah, Tories want us to get all backers in the box. Those gingerbread times were so fun. We kind of got away from them because life happens. And so, hopefully, you start doing that back up, can, you know, start bringing more traction. And it will be a nice way to switch up things so that, you know, every night is not a, you know, just me playing video games. It's just, just me just wanting to talk to you. Just wanting to talk to you. But right now it's third and goal. Hands off to Greg Carson. And he walks it in. As he get lit. Oh, he get hit late. Damn, 22 seconds left, y'all. Vander v Clemson drives down the field and scores a late touchdown. This is, bro, 22 seconds left. That's still a lot of time. If it was Patrick Mahomes, that's way too much time. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squid it here. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31. Alford's the kind of guy that can run in that huddle, look at a guy like you and say, just get it. Yeah, and that's when you tell that guy to just kind of get back out there and let me worry about the quarterback. <laughs> I think the quarterback's got to be worried about just making good And decisions. are you talking about Dubs, Dubs uh, stuff, or are you talking about my Def Jam stuff? This might be a situation where you get others involved as well. Oh, the women's division is on his brand, apparently. That's what he said. He got all the girls over there on his brand. A lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 31. Oh! Ooh, they need to get that first down. Use their second time out of the half. Apparently, because he got some new women coming in, um, that he has the division. I guess he's just waiting on some of them. Nine, eight, seven. Finds his man! Five seconds left, y'all. Five seconds left, y'all. At the 45-yard line. Vanderbilt has one timeout. Here we go. This could be the last play. Here we go. Touch it deep. Oh, he, oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Oh, that's the game. That's the game. Like, I got to go back. I got to go back. I gotta go back. That is the last play of the game, too. Like, what a throw. He went up. He had it, too. That was in his hands. And the defender. Oh! Oh, man. My boy, Scott. Damn, that would have been an insane finish had that been caught. Oh, man, what a finish to this game. 
my boy Sky, how have you been, brother, man? Funny enough, Darkness was just talking about uh, he misses our after-hours talk. We need to bring it back. We got to bring back an after-hours talk, man. A-H-T, bro. <laughs> after-hours talk. We need it back, man. Uh all right, let me see what how many other games that we got going on cuz Oh yeah, hold on. Cuz I don't think Oh yeah, these teams don't play nobody. We I saw this earlier. Oregon smanked them, so I'm just going to sim this. I'm not going to Yeah, Oregon crushed them already. They crushed them again. Should, we, should I start doing that instead? Instead of me just simming, like watching it through, just sim the games where people don't play against each other. But that means some people, that means some of your teams might not watch. You might not watch. You might not get to see your team plays. It all depends if you play somebody else in the conference. That I think that would make it easier to keep things in flow. Ah, uh, Oregon State beats Arizona State. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the last game of the night, two unbeatens. LSU. That's the team of Steve Merka and NCAA Young Boy, the most dangerous individual in NCAA right now. Taking on big body Ricky Bobby. Do the Ricky Bobby stop. Pose for the frame. And Vic Ruckers at Michigan. Somebody's going down. Somebody is going down. Who y'all got? You got the you got the QB of Steve Merka and the wide receiver. I'm going to Georgia next year. Okay, I'll have you locked in. If somebody asks, I'll say George is not available. NCAA Young Boy and Steve Merka. NCAA Young Boy plays wide receiver and free safety. On Michigan, Ricky Bobby's a QB, and Vic Rutgers is the running back. But you want to be a Q. Boy, you just say you're going to Georgia. You're not changing that shit. I'm going to have you locked in at Georgia, bro. That's Ricky Bobby, right there, number 15. But he looks like Ray Allen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now comes the hard part, the middle part of the season. When you're beaten up, you're battered, you're bruised, you're nicked, practice is long and difficult, the girlfriends are wondering why you can't spend more time with them, and all you want to do is sleep. But you can't sleepwalk through a game. The intensity has to be there if you want to control your destiny for the national championship. We've done all we can do here. <laughs> nah, y'all listen to that. Man, let's talk about, you know, your girlfriend's asking what's wrong with you, and all you want to do is just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a girl who never been around a dude who just enjoys peace. <laughs> What's wrong, babe? Like you're not really talking to us. I, I just ain't got nothing to say. I'm chilling. I'm just chilling. That's like, like it, it, some people just don't. People who have never been around peaceful people. Around people who enjoy their peace and vibe, don't know to do with people like us, because they got they will try to find reasons for to, they will try to find a reason to have a reason, rather than like it just being a reason because it's a legit reason. 
Some girls, some girls don't, some girls really don't. That's the funny thing about it. girls be like, oh, I want, you know, I want, you know, peace, harmony, no toxicity, this and that. And then just start problems because all they've been around is toxicity. And they don't know how to act when they had, don't have that. When a dude is all peaceful, they think there's a catch and start looking into things that are not there. I call it, and I'm not saying this for everybody. I'm calling this, a, I call it the conspiracy theory mind. When I, when I say that, I don't mean like this, because there are some conspiracy theories I do believe that are true. But when I mean as far as this, um, conspiracy theories, they look too deep for things that aren't there. There's a difference of your gut feeling telling you wrong than you just looking because, like, you never had a good guy before. Sometimes I enjoy just, like, for example, women who I be seeing this talk about where girls dislike do having playing video games. I say this, like, you can have, because the women, because certain women don't understand, you can have quality time, but not have to be doing stuff together. For example, it's like where I could be playing the game, or I could be live streaming right now, right? And my shorty could be on the couch watching her movie on Netflix or something, right? That's still us spending quality time together because we're in our own space together. You know, you can also still have a long time by she could be in the bedroom doing her own thing and I'm doing this, you know. That's the one thing a woman going to have to understand with me, especially doing these doing the streams. I'm getting to a point now where I'm about to start making money from this. Once I reach 500 subscribers on YouTube, I can be monetized. My, I can get monetization, which is going to have to change up my editing process or how I do matches and things of that nature for certain things. Because um, copyright is a thing, you know. So, but luckily, YouTube has a tool where you can literally erase the song out of the video. Fantastic, cool. Um, but just speaking more on that, and as I said, not all women. There are women who genuinely understands that, like, hey, you know, this was here before I got here. Now, to some degree, some people, some people take that inch and turn it to a mile. Like, I, I have this going on, but I also know how to spend quality time with my shorty, you know. But sometimes, with the video games, we just we just need a little break from the world and instead of you know her trying to be like this shit looks so dumb come sit beside me come sit beside me or even be on the other couch lay beside me lay your head on me I remember I had uh, one chick I was talking to she literally came over and she like she said she didn't care I'll play 2K as long I, I was told I was going to play 2K for a little bit. She wanted to sleep. I was like, oh, that's perfect because sometimes what I do is I play 2K with the sound off. Like I turn, I'll turn, the, I'll turn the music off on the TV, have my headphones on and listen to music. So she just laid on me while I just played the video game and relaxed. Those sort of things. It's just... A lot of people don't understand how to be intimate without doing things together. Or they look at this as like, oh, that's childish. Even some dudes look at other dudes who play video games like, bro, that's so childish. Go outside, touch grass, bro. Some people do need to touch grass. Let's be honest. Some people do need to touch grass. But overall, if you're just bad going to do playing video games for having fun, you look more sad. It's it's like how certain jobs being like like you we pay you here to work. We don't we don't pay you here to be on your phone. Not realizing that some people actually have another job outside of work. Like what that is, 
Like people make money off these phones. It might have been, you know, a statement you could use back in the 2010s, but now there are so many different ways to make money these days. And they over here still try to scrutinize you for building your phone. Brother, I got a life outside of here. I got connections outside of here. Sometimes the only time people talk to me is when I'm at work. And that could be important to me and my life. Yeah, I know I got a job, but if I got I got a job, yes, I do have a job, but y'all keep me there for eight hours and give me a total of 40 minutes. 40 minutes in an eight hour shift. Which to me these days, working eight hours is ludicrous. A lot of jobs really should be truthfully six hours at this point. Granted, I, I let me let me rephrase that. Places like Walmart, places that are needed, I should say. Every job said, Well, we're needed, you know, we're needed. But if you're not like places that places are needed for sure, like Walmart, grocery stores, you can even go to restaurants. I should say mainly warehouses. Warehouses should be at minimal just six hours of work. That that eight hour BS is that eight hours is just BS. That's way too long. And then why why a lot of warehouse jobs wondering why they have such a high turnover rate? Because you're keeping people away from their lives. Especially working second shift. I, I, I had a game plan. I, I had a game plan. I was talking to one of my coworkers about this. The season is going to be close to being a real week six. So we're, we're really halfway through the season right now. We're so close. Um, like if I had, if I had the schedule to do it, right. If I could do the schedule, I would make the schedule be, it will be six. It will be total seven hours, but you get an hour break. So you work three hours, get an hour break, then work three more. So you will work six to one. I will have people come in an hour early who work second shift to pretty much help out. Say like, you know, somebody on first shift, they get off at one. You have people come in the second shift, come in at 12. That would be helpful because then those workers can not only help out first shift to make sure they get their stuff done, but can get a breakdown of what's been going on. So you have those coming in, they work 12, they work 12 to 7. I don't think that's a bad second shift because you still get home in time to want to enjoy yourself, especially if you're living by yourself. I mean, if you don't have kids, you know, especially if you don't have kids. But if you have kids, it still works out because then say, you know, the person who works 6 to 1, you work 12 to 7, you still get home enough time that if your kids are playing extracurricular activities you can pick them up and or like on f Friday like sports nights you can be there for their games and then people who can you work work uh, work third shift it will be six it will be six to one basically because they will come in at six since second shift get out for 12. I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's too bad. Working third shift. But then again. If people don't want to take a break. You know. Like. Or I could do it where say. Okay. You have food time for you. You know. Like, I would make it to where, if you could, you could have, like, a little designated area to eat your food at. Like, you could break it on the floor, you know, eat your food right there. Because I worked at a job where I ate my food on the floor. 
you know, something in that nature. Now, if people don't want an hour break, I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, y'all just crop it down. Y'all can have little, little, little breaks in between, you know. But that's how I would set up doing working six hours a day. And if we did it that way, what I would do is make it a rotating schedule to compensate this way. Because what I would do is I would have people work Monday through Sunday. But the following week, you get a whole week off. You get a whole week off to recharge, re-rest, and relax. I don't think that's a bad, I don't think that's a, I think that's a fair trade. Because you work, you work the seven, you make, I will make sure you get paid, a comp, you get paid accordingly. And then you get a whole week off. So pretty much, you work seven days. And you get pretty much paid for enough to keep you good for two weeks straight. But here we go, y'all. Here we go. Hands it off. But like, I don't think that's don't these don't. I do not believe that is a bad trade at all. Oh dang! I. If you work six, if you work seven days straight, if you have religious views, you know, I'll allow, you know, to be off on Sunday, but I'm going to make sure you get a whole week off because two days off, sometimes one is not enough for your body to recharge, rehydrate and get prepared to work another five days straight. And that's not even counting those who work 10 hours to 12 hour shifts a day. So yeah, you work, you will work seven days straight, but you get seven days off. So it would be like, for example, you know, like a rotated schedule. So say for example, right, Rex, right? Say for example, you're off this week and I work. Next week, you will work and I will be off. And to me, you'll be able to more plan stuff better. You wouldn't need to take off work. You have a whole week off. Now, if you do need something off, we can work something out. You know? You might just have to be, well, okay, you need, because you want to go to this event, right? You want to go to this concert. Depending on where it's at. If I had a 12 hour shift job at a job, bro, as he throws the heater and finds his man, we say that until we actually start working 12 hour shifts. And to me, 12 hour shifts are god awful. Even working three days a week is god awful. That's 12 long hours, bro. And if you, if you work in, if you work in uh, third shift, you're technically working two days. If you think about it, because I work the six to six, six to six, six p.m. to six a.m. You come in at six p.m. You get off at six a.m. You're technically working two days, a half, say like half Monday, half Tuesday. But then again, you got to go back in at six p.m. So technically, you work back to back two days as LSU just scored. That's that's the one thing I and I think it could just be my mindset. People look at the work and see what they're getting paid and think, bro, doing this, if I just grind this out, it's gonna be worth it because of the pay right here. Not realizing how much you beat yourself down trying to reach that money. Because then you will be realizing that this is way too low for the amount of work you're doing. A lot of jobs look at this like this. Oh, you know, how, where I work at, I get paid eighteen dollars an hour for the work. They said that's that's oh, that's well worth it. You know, 
you're getting you're getting paid eighteen dollars an hour being a forklift driver. That's going to be soon. That's low, especially when you have experience like I do. I I have I have seven years of forklift experience. Eighteen dollars is way too low for me. As he gets sacked. But they look at that and think, man, $18 is still a lot of money today. It's not. It's not. It's only $3 higher than what the minimum wage should be. It's $15 an hour. And all that was intercepted. Because in my opinion, getting truthfully about the economy, what what's going on. People say minimum wage and think like minimum wage, man. Minimum wage should be the definition of like the minimum how to live. Not what you make coming out of high school. Then again, minimum wage used to mean that. The minimum amount of money you need to be making to live. And a lot of jobs don't understand that concept. Because that is not the minimal wage. If we tr if truly be honest, the the minimal amount to live right now, I, and I mean like be able to pay your bills, right? Pay your bills, put gas in your car, and have money to put food in your groceries. You need to be at least making twenty bucks an hour. That should be minimal wage. Because 20 bucks an hour right now is the minimal definition on how to live a live. The minimal amount of money you need to be making hourly to live. If you, if with experience and to be living a decent life, I should say, you got to be making at least 23 to 24 bucks an hour. Full time. Not part time, full time. Yeah, because I make eighteen bucks an hour. I've been making eighteen bucks an hour since for like for like like the last two years, and y'all don't have full time. Oh, you're 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 Canada, right? I'll let you hop in for a little bit, cause after this, I'm probably gonna hop off the live stream and relax for a second, cause this shit has been taking forever, bro. It's four hours long. You're in Illinois. Ooh, finds his man. I'll allow you in the box for a little bit. Hold on. KJ, if you want to hop in too, you're, you're more than welcome to. Um, yo, yo. Yo. As it gets his man first down. Um, so in Illinois, there's no, there's no full time? Rarely. Why is you that? You want a good high paying job. You want a good high paying job? Like what you're talking about? Full time? Good fucking luck. That's wild. Cause good full fucking luck. Because that's always over here, full time work. But then again, some jobs try to make you part time or seasonal. Which to me is the dumbest shit ever. I know. And that's all the work. All the greatest paying jobs? Where are they? Fires is me! Spin around, ten toes down. Hey Dorian, yo, where do you think all the greatest paying jobs are? I see jobs. Nope. Well, what? I never even checked those, but without yeah. any schooling, like communicate, like uh, com computer working jobs, always high and paying jobs. I would say, like, like you could just get them straight out of high school. This job straight out of fucking high school have no fucking. 
knowledge about anything. Forklift operation. <sighs> They're all wanting people ex- with experience here. And that's the funny thing about it. How can you, how can you get a job without? How can you? How can a it's job? It's warehouse people, mm-hmm. like FedEx and UPS. And all oh, that. that's delivery driving services. Yeah, those are always nope. gonna pay good. Nope, nope, not the delivery drivers. The other ones. See in house. See, I didn't see. I didn't make more money than somebody who was a driver. I worked at you. I worked at you, uh, USPS, and I made. I believe like seventeen. Oh no, I'm not talking 18. about the USPS. I'm talking about the UPS. Yeah, the drivers get paid the most. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, they probably do. But I just, that's why I said I don't want to understand why in-house will make more. See, that's the thing about it because. I worked at Amazon as a driver. I made 19 bucks an hour. Don't, bro. That is so too damn low to be doing a job like Amazon. As a delivery I'll driver. It, I'll, put it this way. I'll put it this way. Um, from what I heard from the guys over here that work as drivers, go. good fucking Lord, did they make big. It's good. Uh, understatement. <clears throat> because like it depends on how much they're making for one but then again also living comedy is different because Ohio yeah. this is the thing about it everybody comes to Ohio saying like oh man it's so cheap to live in Ohio it's not it's an illusion because of the fact that no matter how the jobs still pay thinking that it equals to what life is today and it's not my rent is eight fucking fifty a month now, and eight. I make eight eight fifty a month. When I moved in, it was five twenty five. That was seven years ago. Damn. And you know why they raised it that high? Hmm. They said to match market value. Even though I've been living in the same apartment for five for seven years, they have not renovated or done anything to change this apartment, not one bit. This apartment is as as little as a good startup apartment, but is it worth eight fifty? No. At max maybe six hundred. But not eight fifty. Yeah. This is not worth eight fifty. And it doesn't make sense because they look at the economy and say, well, we got a mass market value. I look like you're really trying to, you're really trying to match. I say, oh my goodness, to the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown! What a heater by big body Ricky Bobby. Wow. Um. Oh, he I'm passed wh- by one yard. Look, by one yard. No, that's the NCAA record. Longest passing touchdown by one yard, 76 yards. I would just say this to finish it off. I was trying to say that I, I, dis- I dislike that logic because they think like, oh, well, you know, we're trying to match market value. I'm like, we're in Dayton. We're near the west side of Dayton. Y'all really trying to match housing and apartments that's in the hood. Be logical. Here's what I here's what I hate. Do you have to pay how much like when you start out mm-hmm. renting, do you mm-hmm. gotta pay anything special? See the thing the great thing about mines because like, did you have to do triple or anything? What do you mean? <laughs> Listen to this. Talk so, about you had to make you had to make double than like what the house. Is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They took that and went. You know what? We don't like that. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna increase that. Took that. Basically, looked at it, threw it away. And said, no, we're going to make it this. And wrote down triple. 
Yeah, and it's funny because a lot of them don't even make triple do with the charging. And here's the scary part. A lot, and the, even the places that are, and that's for every place. Oh man, Pfizer's back! Oh, he drops it. That's the so game. Now, these kids, these people, they're wanting to get out of the, their parents' house. Can't because mm -hmm. they're expected to make triple the income right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. I'm like, and that's just rent. That's not even including. They got to have a utilities light bill, all that. Luckily now, for me, if the utilities were all paid for, mm -hmm. if all of them were freaking covered, and I mean all of them. And now hold up. That's just to get your foot in the freaking door here. Michigan really, Michigan was really the one that's gonna take down. And I'm talking LSU. about that's like wild. that's even for like a place that's cost like eight hundred. That's yeah, not I even know. for the super expensive places. Believe, believe me, and I know because look, these look, expensive I, places, they don't even cover wild. all the utilities. Now you would think a place that costs like oh I don't know two thousand a month would cover all the utilities. Mm -hmm. No, no. They don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just they just I'm, slap they slap. And I'm rent. looking at this. They I'm say looking you, at this, and I'm like, WTFH? You got a hundred thousand. Yeah, no, like you gotta do like that's just rent. They don't even like. Luckily, mines I say utilities and call included like water bill all that is including my rent, which is a blessing because I believe me, if it, if if we just my peer rent. Cause I already paid the light bill. Light bill is not cheap either. But I went real fast. Look at the stats. Look at these stats. Thirty-one for forty-eight, three hundred six, one TD, one IT. Into places and stuff. Rushing. Lindsay, two one one hundred yards rushing, two TDs. Oh, this game was insane. NCAA young boy, eight receptions, eighty-one yards, one TD. Go down to defensive side. Where's this hey, NCAA, young boy? Hold I'll on, put it this way. I've been oh, looking into places. One one total tackle, one solo tackle. We'll 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 finish that conversation in a second. Let's let's look look let's let's look at this because right now, like I said, this game was insane, especially towards the end. Ricky Bobby, nineteen for twenty nine, three forty four, four TDs, zero INTs, rushing wise. Vic Ruckus only had fifteen rushes for thirty six yards. They were not doing well on the ground, but rushing receiver wise, boy was they cooking. Everybody, one reception, thirty four yards, right. Two receptions, 72, 27, uh, 27 yards. Rutgers, three for 18, one TD. He had one drop, but one T. Eh, look, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. That crazy long 76 yard touchdown pass. 146 yards, touchdown. And then Edwards, five receptions, 92 yards. This was an instant classic of a game that came down to the wire. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. This is why y'all got to tune into this. Like, if I wanted to place like what you're talking about, that's like 800 or something a month. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd have to go into the weird part of where I'm staying at now mm -hmm. and get a one bedroom. That's not even a one bedroom. It's not even considered a one bedroom, really. It's I know he's talking uh, about studio apartment. Not no, those things are freaking ex stupidly expensive. Studio apartments. Oh, you want to know what a studio apartment is? Look up Illinois and look up studio apartment. What you've been thinking is the studio apartment is wrong. A we put a whole new definition to studio apartment. These kids are spoiled with studio apartments. You remember those movies? The movies with the studio apartments in Chicago, in the cities, in those big ass cities. 
in all those movies, that's what they're getting. I got to look at this because cause our studio apartments around here is just literally like pretty much the living room. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I was right. It's literally just like this. That's a studio apartment. Yeah, but the thing has a whole kitchen and everything. Yeah. The thing's huge. It's still a studio. It's not, it's not, it's still like, that's why I was like, how the heck is a studio apartment so expensive? Usually, like, they'd be the cheapest ones you can get. Uh, Hon- honest, you don't want to know how much they can range from. Because that's just fucking ludicrous. But then again, a lot of, like I said, a lot of these places don't, a lot of these places be charging this money, right? But do not. You don't know how much they are? Don't. They, a lot of these places charge these prices, but don't match what they're charging. Not only on top of that, they don't ever use that money to try to <clears throat> renovate Apartments. That's the hey, thing. Uh, Dorian, you want to know What's how up? much these places are for studios? You you can tell me. It's it's probably gonna be like re- can, it's gonna be stupid. How much do you think these studio? I I don't know. I'm not gonna try to take a guess because right now the studio apartment around Come here. On. I'm not trying to take a guess. How much My, are they by you? I have to look and see. How much did you say your rent was? I'm looking right now to see how 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 studio apartments or studio apartment costs over here, like not my place because my place um, just does. I just doesn't... put it this way: it's more than yours. That should give you a hint. There's a there's a place. A lot of these places. It's more than yours, so that should put you on the right track. Hopefully. Yeah, there's a studio. There's this one place, a studio, a studio Jefferson, eight sixty nine to uh twelve thirteen a month. There one bed is one forty five. It all the de- all depends. It's just like why. It's just really a why case. That's, that 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 that's basically what I'm talking about. There's a it place. It ranges from about, but get rid of the eight sixty nine and put nine hundred, and then get rid of the other number and put about fifteen hundred. There's a place. There's a place called. Uh, it's a downtown Dayton. It's called the Delco. A studio apartment is nine eighty two to twelve seventy seven. There's one for uh, eight uh, a thousand eighty twelve thirty eleven sixteen eleven forty six fourteen hundred. Oh, those are yeah fourteen hundred to fifteen hundred for a studio apartment in Dayton in in Dayton, Ohio. And people, okay. Let me let me go to week two because this. I mean, the next week because this week is done. Yeah, it's just it's foolish. But yeah, we got we got. Who am I facing next? This is week twelve, week thirteen, week fourteen. Is anybody playing on week fifteen? Yeah, nobody's playing on week fifteen. That's championship week. So. <sighs> uh, let's, let's see week seven. Who am I playing? Uh, you're actually not playing. No, oh, you play Clemson. You play Clemson. Uh, you know what? Okay, so we got Oklahoma versus Texas. I'm not about to watch that. Memphis versus Louisville. I'm not gonna watch that. The why don't you just do the that, sim for them right now? That's what I'm about to do. There's oh, I have a buy. I'm not even playing next week. You're not? Yeah, I got a buy. No, I'm not playing nobody next week. Damn, okay, so only team playing is Clemson, Notre Dame, Texas A&M, Oregon. Yeah, um, everybody else plays some nobodies. Okay, so I'll, I'll, so damn, I might be able to do week seven and week, see, people over here getting patient, need to chill. Wait, you're, you're, are you simming the whole game? I'm going to sim all the, I'm going to sim all the other games except the last two. V, my girl, welcome. Even How you game? doing? No. You even send my game? No, I said I'm only sending the games when people are not playing against each other. If oh. it's not in, if it's not in the conference. So wait a minute. So like, let's say I'm not facing somebody that's also in the conference. Like, let's say I was facing 
Texas. Texas is in the conference. No, someone that isn't in the conference. You said Texas. If you would have said somebody like Louisville, I would have simmed your game. Why, though? Because you're you're not facing somebody in the conference. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's like why all these teams like Oklahoma, Texas, nobody's on Oklahoma, nobody's on Louisville, nobody's on SMU. Why does it take so long to do this thing? Rating teams, play style, all that. Damn. Mm-hmm. Scheduling visits, collecting stories for NCAA. Yeah, it's this is the longest part, honestly. This is the longest part. How you doing, V? How you doing? I think she passed us, but oh well. She she's cool. She pops in from time to time. Says even, oh, mm -hmm. even if she said hi. Even if she doesn't. Come back. Yeah, even if she doesn't speak, still pop in. Okay, yeah. so. Hopefully nothing changed from what That's, we had it as. That is auto saving now, which is cool. So I'm about to just go ahead and, like I said, send these games because I'm not playing Almost this all week. Of them. I'm not playing this week. Texas won. Figured Texas. that would happen. Watch me be uh, dumb. You could probably just get through that game right now, probably. The last two. Memphis. Oh, man. Oh, man. Tipsy Boat, man. Takes down Louisville. That's a big one. That's a big one. I know Tipsy Boat. That's won't Louisville, proud. Illinois, isn't it? No. Kentucky. Oh, Louisville. I want. I want to win. Is it UK? Yeah, UK is Kentucky as well, isn't it? Uh huh. That's University of Kentucky. Aren't they in here? Yeah, but they're not in the conference. Nobody picked Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, you know what's funny? Everybody's winning the simulation now. Simming is everybody's winning. Rutgers just got the dub. All right. Ohio State versus Northwestern. Northwestern's gonna win. Nope. They get smacked. Shit. Northwestern's a pretty good team though. But they get smacked by my boy Ty Howard in Ohio State. I'm hoping my boy uh Battle California. That's California, the University of California versus the University of California, Los Angeles. Ooh. Can Los Angeles take... Nope, nope, never mind. <laughs> Cali beat Los Angeles. That's kind of funny. Oh, California came back. And just did a field goal? They came back to win. They, the UCLA was winning the whole game. And California came back to win in the last seconds. Wow. They choked. Look at that. Yep. No less. They all, oh, they won on a two-point conversion. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, right there. 29-yard yeah, pass. I see it. it. Mm-hmm. All right. LSU, LSU versus Ole Miss. LSU. Oh, this is going to be real interesting. LSU, Who's LSU? Could, they win. That's Steve Merka, NCAA young boy. Damn, it says Steve Merka, uh, the NCAA young boy gets a touchdown, forty-four yard touchdown pass for Steve Merka. Who's um? Uh, who's uh? Wait, wait where is? Uh, <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at the score. Yeah. Oh. Oh, when they oh when I do the semi when I sim it they do it by uh. They do about the they do about like fifteen minute quarters. I see because you see right here twelve, nine minutes, eleven, fourteen. Damn, that's a barn burner. Fifty nine to forty nine. Damn. They scored. They scored in every quarter. Both teams. That's pretty sick. Okay. That's also why I don't do fifteen Tennessee minute quarters. Florida? Okay. That's that's Wait, why I don't go ahead. Which are 
Which one uh, is Tipsy? Tipsy is Memphis. He just played. See? Did he win or did he lose? That, like we just we just talked about. Oh it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm losing it today. Oh. Well. All right. No, go back. I did not mean to do that. I'll check the standings after this as well. Did you want to? Did you want to play those two games real fast? Just get it out of the way and just go to week eight. If anything, I would just sim them. Just do it. Go for it. I don't care. Okay, Florida wins. Cause hold on, week seven. Okay, we got Texas Ruggers, UCLA, Florida. You play there. Okay, we got a, we got a couple games. We got a couple games lined up that definitely I want. I, I'm gonna do week eight, week nine. Let's see. Yeah, I I do week. I, yeah, I send this because there's really nothing going. Am I playing next week? No. When do I play again? I don't play until week nine. I go against LSU. God dang. Okay. Well, let's do Texas versus Oregon first. Because I want to hold the suspense for my game. Oregon State comes back. Oregon State upsets Texas a and All great. right. It's for all the marbles. Let's see. Clemson versus Notre Dame. Let's see if we can beat Clemson and take their spot. Yes, we can. And that's a complete washout. Did Rex get it? Did Rex get the football? Uh, uh, 14, 14, Jack, 7, 7. Jack. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't show. This is these are touchdowns, so mm. I'm not sure how Rex did. It only shows the touchdowns. Okay, we can go on to week eight now, and then we can just start simming that out. I'm not gonna sim week eight because we got plenty of games. Well, we can sim parts of it, the parts that we're not gonna play. Yeah. Right. Like Oregon and Stanford, we're not we're not gonna watch that because they Jeff from the block, what it do? Um, but yeah, Oregon and Stanford. What about my game? Uh, hold on. Who am I, I can't, facing? I can't even. I can't even see. I cannot tell you right now. You UCL, UCLA and Florida. I know we're watching that one, right? Oh yeah. And Texas and Rutgers, right? We're watching every. I'll, I'll tell you who like plays. Northern Illinois and Auburn. You can hop in real fast, KJ. You can hop in real fast. I'm gonna get off of here though, because I gotta get yeah. my I gotta get my energy up for tomorrow. Because, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, yo, you got to do stuff tomorrow. Yo, yo, KJ, I got work. No. I got a, uh, I got the Def Jam stream. KJ, I just got into Sim Week Seven. I won again. I love that he's simming, so that way we can get in a lot earlier. Cause when October comes, I know that he's gonna do a Dude, lot of two. By the time October comes, you know what's gonna happen. It's not even. It's not even that necessarily simming through all these. Is the fact of the matter if you look at these weeks compared to the other ones, weeks. Damn it, week seven is so small, and there was only two teams facing. Um, yeah. and, I, and I'm I, I, I did it for this week, week six. But going forward, I think I'm just like all teams. Like for example, Texas and Rutgers got somebody on them. UCLA, Florida got somebody on them, but. Auburn doesn't. I'm not gonna be watching that. We're not. Your team doesn't play nobody as well. That's oh, why I say man. you you don't play nobody. God damn it, stink bug, bro. What, bro, bro? Y'all see this? Y'all see that? 
Look at how big that match is. A five and zero oh versus a six and one team. We're that's we only playing. We're playing only people that's in the World Conference. Hold on. I think you killing that one stick bug brought that one in. No, five and zero oh and three and zero oh in the conference is crazy. But the thing, but the thing is, though, they're not in the conference. That's what matters most. We got to stick with what's in the conference because when, because like how how Rex was getting confused because it's like his record and da da da. I'm like, that's why I made that change that we're only going to be six and one in the conference. Yes, we're. That's why I said we only stick with games that matter within the conference. This game doesn't matter in the conference. It's not in your. It's not in the league. These games don't matter. All right. It, ma it does. It does matter. It matters to your overall ranking. Yes, it does, like record. But it doesn't matter to the conference record, if that makes sense. So we're that skipping. Still doesn't make sense, but okay. Look, Rex, who you play in your conference is not the same who you play outside of your conference. Outside oh. conference games doesn't really matter because it does not impact your conference standing for example we'll go back we'll go back again to give this a quick breakdown all right conference standing this is what we only matter most about all right you see you got mm -hmm. you got both of them are five and one memphis is two and four ohio state is three and two but the thing is why memphis is higher because memphis is one and three ohio state is two and is zero oh and two even what though ohio state Ohio Did State having three two. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna give you a breakdown about this, as you okay. see. Yes, Tipsy Boat. Because what happened is, since since for the for what I'm gonna be doing is, so I voted be, for you to win again. Because because MTG got MTG got confused about looking at this record and how these this like he was getting confused about this. So you beat Louisville. Louisville was number two. They was undefeated. Your team beat Louisville. Mm -hmm. What? So I'm saying this. Look, look, look. Your record, like this right here, your team record only matters when you get to the playoffs because that will impact your seating. But your conference record matters more about you getting into the playoffs. Conference record is what gets you into the playoffs. Overall record is how we do our well, seeding. We simmed it, Tipsy. We simmed it. Yeah, we simmed it because nobody's on Louisville. If somebody was on Louisville, I wouldn't have done it. But since there's nobody on Louisville, we 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 in the week eight now. We sim week seven because nobody played nobody in week seven, basically. All right, so here it is. See this right here? You're number three. You see this? You're six and one in the conference, but these people are undefeated in conference, so they get they got the priority. I hope that makes sense to you. So, so yeah. Oh, I think it might have been KJ, but I'm about to, I'm about to go sim some more of these games for week eight, and then we will pick this back up. Um, Probably on Tuesday a little bit. I probably I might go live today. I might go live on Tuesday. I might for this. If not, I'll just stick with Saturday. But I'm about to sip some of these. We're only focusing on inside conference games. So like this Oregon game doesn't really matter. It does for the record their team record if they get into the playoffs, but it doesn't really matter because right now they're 0-3 in the conference. All right, so... Oh, that's Texas Rutgers, UCLA, Florida. All right, Northern Illinois and Auburn. Yeah, so we're skim we're simming your game, Rex. Northern Illinois with the dub, 48-31. to Mmm. That's going to be interesting. All right. Let's see. Can you know, can can Notre Dame keep it going? And they do. They do. 
Notre Dame seven and one now. Vanderbilt versus Georgia. Vanderbilt needs a dub, man. They've been struggling. Nope. Not happening. Gets completely moddy walked. Rex got a touchdown? Hold on. Uh, I do not see it. I'm about to be getting off soon. So, like, it doesn't even matter. My girl, Katana, just popped in. My girl. Hey, girl. What it do, girl? Rex, I'm, I'm not about to do that because I'm about to get off this live soon. Katana! You you want to go? You, 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 you want to go uh, tonight? Oh, there it is. You want to do it? You want to go live tonight? A little bit late night. They've been asking about the after hours talk. A lot of people have been ask, asking about the after hours talk. Um, maybe probably around 11-ish. Because at least give me time to relax. It doesn't matter. No hair, no makeup. You know, I already know we're going to be in gingerbread form. <laughs> we're going to be in gingerbread form. Girl, I've seen you natural so many times. You've been in the box natural so many times. I done seen you. I done seen you in your work habitat. And I seen you in your natural habitat. <laughs> uh, but, yep, finally, finally your boy Rex got a touchdown. All right. That's Cap. That's cap. You better plead the fifth right now. You better plead the hip. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> All right. So we got a big, we got a big slate. We got Texas and Rutgers, UCLA, Florida, um, Ohio State, Oregon, Clemson, LSU, Michigan, Texas A and M. It's you straight cap out here. You better plead. You better plead the fifth of Hennessy. Girl, I've seen you where you look like this, with your eyes like this. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you like that. Hey, y'all got to understand Katana. Katana is a very sweet individual. She's humble in nature. But she will definitely drop kick a hole with some stilettos on. Don't get it twisted. She's from, at the end of the day, she's still Filipino. They are not to be tested. She she squared up with a Haitian dude. Not a Haitian dude. She squared up with a dude who was like six foot five drunk trying to say, No, that's her. That's that bitch over there. The second she heard that, she jumped off the stage, said, Motherfucker, what? Mm hmm. That don't matter. You, you you taller than me, yeah, but you know how close I am? I'm closer I am closer to your balls than you ever will be. Try me, bitch. <laughs> Dead ass. I really do need Katana to dress up as Katana for Mortal Com like Mortal Kombat for like one Halloween. I need it in my life. One time in my life. Katana, you gotta do it. Dress up as Katana for Mortal Kombat. Get the hat, all that. You could do that for one 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 time. You go to uh work. Ooh, think about it for Halloween. Go to work. Ah. Uh. We can't wear a mat. We can't wear what? I think there's scenes in Mortal Kombat where she doesn't wear her mask. Oh. 
Okay, so I found like some photos. So you have. What if you painted like blue around your mouth? Because there's a couple things you could go, ooh. Hmm. Now you gotta get it. You gotta. Hmm. Because you have. You have this right here. Got this outfit. But but honestly, you have this as well. You have this fit. That bodysuit right there. That's cold. That bodysuit. Get the high heel boots. Cold. <gasps> oh, here's one. Look. Without the mask. That's one without the mask on. You know, I see why Katana says the mask, like, just, bruh, like, you, I'm not sure y'all, with the mask on, bruh, it just makes sense. All right, y'all. Let me end this off because it's 9.27. Let me end this off so that I can come on later on tonight um, around, what you what you say, Katana? 11, 11.30? After hours talk, I'm putting that, I'm making that shit 18 and over. 18 and older, and I'm making it I'm going to have it like this. I'm on my computer. Reason being is so that we can react to stuff together. Y'all cool with that? I'm not sure, my guy, because we got we got a group. We got a group. We got a group. We got a group. It's the Gingerbread Clan is right now four members. Um, oh, I only can do two people right here. Invited guests. Oh, minimum of two people. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Will we? We will. We. But the thing is, though, if you're gonna be doing this, you're gonna have to turn on your camera because we need to see you to get in as a member of the Gingerbread Clan. Because in order to inaugurate you, we are gonna need to see you put your hand out, spirit fingers, spirit fingers. And boom, you'll be in our, then you have to do this. Come to your camera. Oh, I got to turn on the camera. I, I'm on my computer, so I can't do it right here. One guess here, there. Yeah. Because it's what's in the early stages, my guy. We we're in the early stages, all right. You gotta understand that, all right. Right now, with the early stages, the Gingerbread Clan was it was me, then it was me and Scott, then we had Katana, and then we had Tori. It's been the four of us right now. Um, maybe not tonight because right now I know Tori's been one a reunion night, but give us let. Hmm. You know what? Do like Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday night we can do like, you know, some inauguration. You know, the gingerbread members. Yeah, Tuesday. Cause because my, my schedule from now on is gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturday, because I'm gonna continue with NCAA or on Sundays if I work on Saturdays. But if I work Saturday night, we can make that a random night as well. Um, but Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will have completely open 
that if y'all ask me, hey, Dorian, you want to go live? We can do that. You know, like, hey, Dorian, you want to do a, a random live night? And we'll definitely do it, you know, um, for this. I completely forgot the stink bug was in this right here. <laughs> but yeah, tonight is just going to be a reunion of me, Katana, Scott, and Tori. I will let them know. Actually, let me send let me send them a message saying um cuz knowing my ass and how how late I be going, we going to do Katana 11 p.m. I'm going live. We'll start and have fun with everything at 12. I'm not 12, but 11.15. You know, like 11.10, 11.15. Give a chance for people to come in here and then we commence having fun to react to some, to some things. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it set up like this. Um, I'll change some things because I won't have my OBS on. And I will be going live and we will be having some fun tonight. Definitely have some fun. After hours, talk returns. Yeah, you can be interactive. And hey, you never know. We might allow you up in the box, all right? It might just be for, you know. <laughs> KJ, tonight I'm going live again. I'm going live again with my friends Katana, my friend Scott and Tori. We're going to have an... We, we started this thing called Gingerbread Clan, and it kind of had dispersed for a little bit. But tonight is returning tonight, and I'm gonna just be react. We're gonna be reacting to some things on YouTube. I'm gonna pull up YouTube. We're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna react to whatever y'all want us to react to on YouTube, as long as it's appropriate and don't get us banana. All right, we ain't trying to get not get. We can we, after our talk. We can get out of pocket, all right? We will get out of pocket, but we have to be out of pocket to some degree, okay? There's a line, that's a fine line of being out of pocket and edgy and over the top. We will let you know, because um, right now, for right now, the time being will just be like us, and then possibly, maybe after I was, I want to say hour, maybe after 30 minutes, we'll allow some people to come join in. So, um, what you think, Katana? You, 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 you down with that? Maybe like after, like after, after we get everybody in here, maybe like 25, 30 minutes of just us. Then we start allowing, you know, people want to join in the box because I'm telling, we be lit. <laughs> We be lit <laughs> when it's us together. We be lit. So I'm telling y'all, y'all don't want to miss it. Telling y'all. Like I said, you got it. That's the thing about it is because with TikTok, they're they're buggy in the sense of, oh, because you are in the comments getting out of pocket because you're in my live, it still can affect us. So that's why I say you can get out of pocket. Just keep it in a reasonable out of pocket. Like I said, we all know the difference of being edgy. And then just like. Bro, like, that's just some you extra bullshit. You feel me? Like, cussing, there will be cussing going on. That's why I'm saying it's going to be 18 and older. No kids allowed. This is after hours talk. We got to see some identification. <laughs> he trying to shut the whole platform down. <laughs> oh, man. That's the thing. I keep mine 18 and older so that, like, like TikTok, like it's eighteen and older. Ain't no fucking kid. Ain't no fucking kids should be allowed right here. It's after our talk. I'm sending this to Scott right now too. I'm sending this to Scott right now. I just sent the message to Tori. I'm sending this to Scott right now too.
And I have respect for you too, though, KJ, man. Like, I really do rock with you. I appreciate it, man. You're dope as ever. Like, I, I, all the support y'all give to the streams, like, I, it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And honestly, I really do, I really do appreciate coming in, you know, seeing this. People asking about the hour, after hours talk because playing video games is fun. I enjoy it. But also enjoy, you know, just wanting to talk to y'all. I'm going to have, I, I put myself on the schedule for the video games to help me be consistent with live streaming, especially game wise. I got to, you know, build up, you know, people tuning in and stuff like that. But then also just want to just talk to y'all sometimes. I just want to talk to y'all. Sometimes I don't feel like playing video games. Even if I play video games, sometimes I just might want to play, fuck around and play, crush y'all or some bullshit like that. You feel me? So, yeah. But I will be saying this, though. Starting Tuesday. I will be starting this right here. I will be starting this here. Actually, no, no. Tuesday, I'm going to play NFL Street. Yeah, Katana. Katana's my love. She, she's, my, she's my spicy mommy. That's what I call her. My lovely Filipino mommy. Every time I see her, be like, where's my mommy? Not like that. We're not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Not, not like that. Not like that. There's them dudes that with that, that mommy fetish as well. I know Rhea Ripley does it with the dummy mommy stuff. I make jokes. But I mean, like, she's a fine-ass mom, you know? And I say that in a respectful way. I'm not, you know, trying to overstep boundaries or anything. She's a fine-ass mom. And she's, she's excellent at what she does for her job. Um... Like on a real note, from me to you, Katana, and anybody else here, because I talked to Katana on the on like personal level. She is a fantastic person, y'all. It's been so great that I've been able to <laughs> like that's that's what I mean. She's so such a down to earth individual. She's really such a down to earth type of person, and um. I really do hope that someday we all can meet up. Like I get, if I get to the point where I'm really making bank right here, and I know Katana, you make you make you make your bank with your four cars. Oh my bad, uh, uh two cars, uh, a SUV in a truck or two SUVs in a truck. I can't remember. I just know you got four. <laughs> and speaking to like you, KJ, my my goal. With this someday, if I can, if I have enough money to, I would like to meet up meet up in the state that we all can. And if I have enough money to, I will make sure I pay for your hotel and your travel fees. Like fly you out and stuff like that because of how much support y'all giving me. If I get to that point where if I get to a point where I'm streaming... And I have made 10 grand or so. Oh, yeah. I'm doing something special. Bet. I'm doing something special. Because I want to get to a point where I have like in-person tournaments going on. Where I want to put like a cash prize. You know, I want to do a, I want to do a tournament like an NBA street. You know, I want to do a tournament in NCAA football. I want to do it to where we get to a point and this might be foolish, but like have a real life Def Jam like watch party in person. You feel me? Like just watch the shit go down. Because to me, honestly, what makes these games so much funner and having more respect to these is actually been watching these games than actually playing them because it's different just playing it. You know, it's different playing it because you got to use your brain function Versus actually just watching it. And you see these games keep your attention going on. That's why I switched over to doing TikTok with these series than like YouTube. 
but I'm gonna be uploading it over to YouTube. But this has been five fucking hours, bro. Five hours. Hell yeah, bro. I'm gonna support you through it. All you support, bring good vibes to us. And I very much appreciate that because you know what I say. You know what I say. I always say to you, everybody, man, I hope you've been blessed because I pray to Yahweh or as we know him as God blesses you with good vibes, good fortune and good health in your life. And hearing that saying I'm br bringing us good vibes just means that my aura, my spirit, it could it it's just not it's just not. Just not seen, but it's heard even through this way. So, but yeah, it's 941. I'm about to get off of here, y'all. Be back in here in an hour because it's about to be time for some after hours talk. I hope y'all ready for the good stuff because <laughs> that's why I be going live on TikTok after dark. After, because it's after hours, baby. It's after hours, baby. Oh, I ain't been, I ain't been so. Wait, this is for you. Oh, I'm going back live. I'm, I'm into the game stream, and I'm gonna switch it over to being like chatting in an interview. Because yeah. It's not just going to be me, but my homegirl, Katana, my boy, Scott. I'm He's going to pop in there. My homegirl, Tori. And we're going to miss after our time. Every time somebody going to be doing that, I'm going to turn it to an NPC. <laughs> but now, dead ass though. So tune back in, bro. I appreciate it. I'm mad appreciate that. I, re I really, really, really do. Like... A lot of these, you see the streamers when they get to a point where like, oh, bro, come on, give me a rose, give me this and that, bro. I don't need that shit, man. Like, even I get to a point where I'm getting money and getting blessed like that, bro, I'm not going to be asking for no donations. I'm not going to be asking for that because that's your money. Shoot, I know I have money, but if I have extra money, I'm going to make sure I bless my folks around. So that's why I don't, so I know some YouTubers would be like, you know, when they get to a certain point, they'd be like, oh, that's a rose. That's cool. And I'll be like, nah, thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. I don't care. A gift is a gift. And I'm appreciate it. 20 roses. Damn. I just realized you said 20. I, 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 I didn't realize you said 20. I thought I heard one. It gave me the sound effect for one, but twenty. I'm like, gonna have me a heart attack. I'm tell. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, wait till I wait till I really pop off. I'm gonna become the meme. I'm a he I'm a meme right now. Wait till I pop off. Y'all gonna be seeing me all of your timeline. It's gonna be. It's gonna get to a point. I might fuck around and faint. I never fainted in my life. <laughs> I'm telling y'all this though. Wait till I really start popping off. There's probably gonna be a meme that's gonna go around. Which Dorian you feel like today? Do you feel like Crash Out Dorian? Do you feel like Goofy Dorian? Do you feel like Gospel Dorian? <laughs> oh, man. Just wait. And you know what's going to happen when I pop off? Y'all popping off with me. Because I'm going to make sure people put the respect on their name. And because at the end of the day, Listen, I I can't tell you how my reaction is going to be. Give give you a laugh, Katana. Girl! I don't know what to say to make you laugh. Oh. 
<laughs> nah, okay, I gotta tell this story real fast before I, I before I pop off real fast. So that this can be an inside joke between all of us, because people who know know. Katana knows. Alright, so KJ, have you ever seen the Suicide Squad movie? 2016 Suicide Squad with Jerry Little's Joker. All right, so what happened is I went to the movies with this date, right? And I said to her, I said, why does every time when he laughs, it sounds like he's. <laughs> and so I was, so, so I told her, I went in over, I said, I said, I said, say, I said, say pudding, right? She said, Pudding. I was like, <laughs> and I feel like this is my karma because now when I laugh, it's unintentionally that way. <laughs> unintentionally happens, bro. <laughs> I call it my karma for joking on Jerry Little's Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. So it's unintentional. I got two times of laughs. You started out here. <laughs> then I got that. <laughs> I'll be cracking my own self up. So, but yeah. But I'll see y'all after, after that was talk, y'all. I'll see y'all then. I have been your host with the most. See you in about an hour. Until next time for the next stream uh, game scene. I am here one more time. <laughs> you want to laugh? You want to chuckle? Yeah. Tucking the tucking the ladies. <laughs> tucking in the ladies. Kiss this boy, my bitches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talking to the ladies. We got this. We go, oh, we got also. We gonna have to start saying uh certain certain things that we only will know. Oh, oh, y'all want to give me the laugh? Just just drop randomly in their pudding. And I'm gonna start rolling. That's the inside joke. Katana, KJ, remember that. Pudding. <laughs> not, not, not put it. Pudding. Like chocolate pudding. Like Bill Cosby. You don't get this pudding. <laughs> I can't do the Bill Cosby voice, man. Pudding. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. Every time when the pudding comes in. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to see you on an hour, bro. See you then. I'm in a good